Hello, everybody. It's Panda. I gotta use my uh, shimmock to cover my face because my mask got wet. And I can't find my other ones. I know it's here. I just don't feel like digging with it. Because I need to worry about this. This is a problem. The hand truck is the problem. This is why I need to kind of start saving money up to buy a wagon. Because this is not going to be ideal. Because something snapped. I don't know what it is. Something snapped. So now it's kind of loose in the handle. So I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to fix it. Somehow, I'm going to have to fix it. Don't ask me how I'm going to. Who is that? Yo, EQ. What's going on, brother? <laughs> I haven't seen you on in this in a while. Wow. Wait, where's the comment? Where'd it go? Why? I can't see the comment. Wait a minute. What is going on here? There you go. I just saw the comment. There it is. It's right on top. Why is it, it won't let me slide down? Oh, that's bullshit. Come on, YouTube. Really? What's up, man? Now I see your comment. I didn't realize that. Uh, now I have to deal with this right now. Uh, something broke. I don't know what it is, but uh, yeah, I just saw I just saw like five police chef cars pass me by. They went in the circle, looked at me, and then came back around. And there's another one right there. I don't know what's going on, but if I get in get in trouble for being out here past curfew, I'm like, Dude, I'm not even from here. Don't put me in that category. You guys fucked that up. <laughs> I've been. Doing my best for nine months. I don't want to hear that. So, anyway, I need to fix this. All right. The hand truck must be fixed. Uh, so, I have an idea. I'm going to put this right here. Watch. I'm going to put this right here. Mr. Tripod. I gotta put this. This is the most expensive, well, outside, not included inside the bag. This right here is sticking outside. Uh, this is probably the most expensive thing that I'm gonna have exposed. Uh, yeah, and already, as I said before, in the live stream that you saw me walk in, terrible live stream, by the way. I just wanna emphasize how I actually have to travel all the time. Since you guys want to know, what's it like how to travel be like a... What's it like being on the road with... While COVID? Now you know. It's not easy. But anyway, I'm going to have to put this like right here. There's a reason why I'm doing this configuration. I need to have access to everything at any time, anywhere. That means if I want to take a long exposure of a train that's coming, I need to have access to this tripod and to the camera that's on top. Also, I want to have access to my laptop. So, and I can't see the Instagram comment from here. Someone's trying to contact me. They kind of worry. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, yeah, yeah, it happened. I had no choice. Money was getting too, too tight. And honestly, San Francisco is... Uh, it's okay, but, you know, I saw a lot more Japanese homeless there than Japanese homeless here. That's how bad it is. Anyway, you guys are on the gimbal. I mean, you guys are on the GoPro. Oh, crap. The battery brick. Oh, man. So this battery brick died. Now I'm using this one. So, mind you, I'm trying to fix this. So... So what I gotta do is wrap it. I think this one should be. Uh, I need. I should wrap this one. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm trying to figure this out.
Oh, uh, nope. I don't want to wrap there. I want it right in the center. Because the weight. I want the weight. But yeah, man. I think this is it. I want to go back to I want to go back to South Africa or something. I, I can't do this. Like I'm better off in South Africa or in Zawe or in Nairobi. I, I, I'm not, I'm just gonna say I'm better off there than here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Gonna, all right. I think I got it. Hold on. I think I got it. Hold on. See? Oh. Oh, yes. This is easier. Yes. Much more better. Okay. I think we're good, but now I gotta take this white one. This is the strongest one I have. This one can hold up to about 300 pounds. This string can hold up to 150 pounds. The other one can hold up to about 60 to 80 pounds. So I'm gonna use the white one as like my security band. Ah, come on. Oh, wow. Uh. Uh. All right. See, this should be around the gimbal because I don't want this to flop up when I'm walking. So I'm going to wrap this one down here too, like so. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, wow. And I'm just gonna come on. Give me a break, life. <laughs> oh, jeez. Come on. Make this easier for me. Oh, what a pain. What a fucking pain this is. Uh, uh, so it's a fucking pain. Agitated. That's all. A little bit agitated right now. Oh, I'm hungry too now. Okay, we gotta we gotta make this, we gotta make this work. Gonna see if this is gonna work. Oh, you see? It's starting to tore and twist. I need one more band. I need another one. So, what I gotta do, uh, let's put this down more. Oh, wow, this is not even tight. <laughs> Life is so great. <laughs> Life is so great right now. I swear, this is like the the dream come true. I I I am I'm balling right now. Literally, I am a baller. I'm on the streets balling. I'm the only rich homeless guy right now. You know why I say that? Because he may have my humor. Look at that. I got more money than anyone on this street on this block right now. <laughs> I shouldn't be joking like that, but I gotta make humor out of this because I'm I'm getting stressed out a little bit. And lucky for me, I got water. I brought this. I never had this before, but this stuff is nasty. It make my stomach tore. I think it's because of the caffeine. This is why I don't. This is why I don't do caffeine. 
makes my stomach twirl. That's why I'm doing, I don't drink pop soda. I don't drink, what is the other stuff? Kool-Aid. Ooh, I had some Kool-Aid. Someone made me some Kool-Aid. What was it, New York City? The sugary Kool-Aid that always made me, it pretty, it pretty much almost put me in a coma. Because what, if you guys don't know what sugar does to my body, oh, I'm not a big fan of sweets, especially high court syrup ingredients. It made me like shiver, like to a point like it was uncontrollable. Like sugar hives are na nasty. I don't like them. Anyway, someone. Wow, there's a lot of Instagram messages. Everyone's like asking where I am. What she said? Hold on, guys. Come to Michigan. <laughs> Listen, Paula, I, I appreciate the offer, but uh, I, don't, I don't think I'm ready for winter quite yet. Even though I might have the stylish boots and the nice coat and the hat, I don't think I'm ready for Michigan. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just being honest about that. I don't think I'm Michigan ready. <laughs> Crap, I gotta put these away. Snap. The charger to my laptop. Because I had another side pocket here. So I had to take this out the side pocket in order to smash this on against the the column. So this doesn't shake. <sighs> okay, so now we're gonna put the business cards on here. This stuff, oh, there's my mask. Yay, I knew I had it somewhere. There they are. Oh, this one's wet too. What the hell? This one is wet too. Sorry guys, I don't want to use my Shimac as my face mask, I do not. I'm sorry, but this, this one, it's very special and expensive and no. Last time I was here, in the city, this is where I got my passport stolen, the drone stolen, the camera stolen, yeah, I'm back, this time, I got, I got a little treat for those uh, unwanted visitors, a days ago, <laughs> now, I wish I had that, that would have been even better. But mace, yes, you're allowed to carry mace. Yes, I have a bottle of that stuff. <laughs> okay, so I need to put the business. See, I want my business cards here. Okay, so my style, check this out. Somebody thought I was a fruitcake earlier. <laughs> yeah, someone was like, you fucking fruitcake. Call, call me a fruitcake because I have my shirt all the way down. First and foremost, this is like a more like a Korean style. If you ever seen Koreans with the long shirts and pants, or t tight with the jeans, boots, or whatever, shoes, blah, blah, this is the style in Asia. So, take it with a grain of salt. If you don't like the style, then don't come to Asia. <laughs> but everybody wants to... Oh, let me explain. For you super dry fans that wear super dry, super dry is not related to Japan. It's a London-based company that is just using kanji characters to emphasize a closing line. If you read the, 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 the kanji, it kind of doesn't make sense. <laughs> That's why I don't buy super dry stuff. Because, mind you, someone's going to ask me, wait, how dare you wear that when you know what that means? Exactly. <laughs> I actually stu I actually want to, I actually forgot to say this. Did I say that? Like last week I applied for a teaching job. Yes, I applied for another teaching job again. I don't know why, but 
Oh. Which is probably not going to fall through after what happened. You guys will be like, what happened? Well, if you guys know about E, <laughs> she's the monk girl that I was actually, when I was at UW, wasn't, he wasn't supposed to be in a relationship with a patient in the, I don't, let me explain this, guys. She was in the mental facility, and we had, like, the internship programs, and I met this girl, and I was like, why is this girl here? Can I get her, can I get her doc, can I read her, uh, can I read the data in her, I'm tired. Can I get the data, and can I find out what's her reason? They told me her reasons, I wish, I, I'm not going to say it on it's, uh, YouTube, because I still care about her, even though her sister Nancy is a, she's a jealous sister. E, if you ever watching this ever again in your lifetime, I know you probably look for me from time to time. I still love you. I still care about you. But what your sister did, that was pretty messed up. So we went back, me and Chie went back to Japan for, for two weeks. We come back, there's a letter. E is like one of those, E is one of those girls that like, she doesn't want to fight her family respectfully. I understand that. This all really started because Nancy asked me for money. I told her, no, you have a husband. Ask him to go get a job. Because, she, I'm sorry, this is Wisconsin, and you out here in, like, 12-degree weather with the shortest skirt of all time, with the leggings, are you trying to impress me? Because, honestly, that's not impressive, looking like a tramp in the middle of winter. No offense, but that's what she was doing. She was trying to see if I would hit on her. The, she was trying to prove to E that all guys like me, I'm not going to say it, because look, I'm pointing at it, are not good. E told me that. E's, E's sister Molly told me that. Because when Molly told me that, Nancy said you... Mm, you guys know that story already, if, if you want me to repeat it. She told the whole monk family that I possibly could be a drug dealer. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm a drug dealer. When I, where am I selling? Books at a university? Because if that is, that's the best drug you're ever going to get. <laughs> and I recommend books. Books is the best drug. <laughs> read, that first, read that first paragraph and then let me know if you're addicted. <laughs> That's what I said. And she was like, oh, you think it's funny. It is funny. Because you think I'm something that I'm not. That shows you that you're not actually willing to accept someone outside. You're not into Are you? Are you, are you into interracial relationships? I asked her. She said, I don't believe in it because I think people are doing it just to show and prove that they have Asian girls. So I was like, why it has to be Asian? Why it can't be a European? Why it can't be a Russian? Why can't it be Indian? Why can't it be uh, New Zealand? Huh? Someone from New Zealand. You had to select Asian. See? Her argument didn't stand. She was just trying to... Yeah, I miss E. e if you ever watch my Facebook, E was one of those cute, small... What, she didn't ask me, ever, ever ask me for money. When I tried to give her money, Oh, I don't want it. Just buy me Pepsi. Stop drinking soda. I tried to have us stop drinking soda. YouTube, please don't copyright me. That's not me playing that music. Please don't copyright me. Please don't copyright me. That's not me playing the music, YouTube. Please. That's not me. That's not me. See, this is the problem by doing live streams. <laughs> guy smoking weed, no mask. Yeah, he's smoking weed, mask, and drinking, and riding a bike, and listening to music. I don't know what to say to that. I think that's multitasking, but stupid. <laughs> I like the concept. You can multitask, but I don't like the idea that you're, yeah, you're not cute. 
That's not cute. Yeah, I'm smoking weed. I'm cool. Don't get me wrong, guys. I used to puff puff gear gear <laughs> myself. I don't do it anymore. Because I realized, waste of time. Only time you should do it when you're celebrating, you won. Like I did. I won my case. Someone passed me a joint. <laughs> and then no one passed me a joint. <laughs> and I was like, you serious? Yeah. Why? And I was like, I don't think you're serious. Just, just give it to me. Like, I don't think you are. <laughs> yeah. I don't think people thought I was actually really serious. So, or whatever. I guess it wasn't meant to be, but... Now I'm going to try to put this on. And this. See, i got to have these two in front. Because this one has all the tools. The, the wireless remote. The, the, the rocket blower. Charger. Pliers. Headphones. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Look at that. Someone gave this to me. They said, hey, this is a one-hitter. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to use that. <laughs> How long has it been in my bag? Like, three years? <laughs> don't know why. Oh, yeah, I gave it to this asshole in uh, Wisconsin. Let him borrow it. Uh, what's his name? Willie. I let Willie, when I was working for Portugal, I said, hey, Willie, I got this thing this guy gave me here. He goes, oh, I want one, because apparently... The one I have, it's like a push mechanism, but it has like a filtrate. It's, it's, everyone's like, I like that one, which you got it. I didn't buy it. Someone gave it to me. I don't buy stuff like that. I buy stuff like this. <laughs> That's where my money goes. Camera gear. Hostel fees. Japanese food. Good beer. Good sake. And help another fellow YouTuber. Donate there, donate here, donate there. Do your civil duties for the week, and boom. Show you some love. I've been doing that every week for the last nine months. Just look back nine months since I left, since I quit. I resigned from Porchlight, and you saw me in my house in Wisconsin, packing up, moving stuff out to, to British Columbia, I kind of like that set because I moved everything out and then like the walls was blank and I only had those two like autograph baseball signature autographs from the from the war series and like I'm not selling those. No, don't ask me to sell it because someone asked me to sell it to them. I said no because that was my first ever baseball series here in the States I ever went to. No, 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 I'm not selling that. So don't ask me. <laughs> you know how many times people ask me in the video when I'm it's the Godox video. If you watch the Godox video with the three ladies as uh, the thumbnail. I thought I just saw someone try to... <laughs> you see how fast I jumped up? <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah. It's the thumbnail with the three ladies said the best flash. Yeah, that's the video that people are asking. In the background, you can see it on the corner on the wall. Is that an autograph signature? Oh, yes, it is. Like... I sold you 800 bucks. Nope, not worth it. <laughs> Give me 10 grand and I think about it. But yeah, I'm not selling it. So <laughs> I don't know why people keep asking me in the comments. Well, in the private comments. Oh wow, this can't fit in here either. Wow, do I have that much stuff? Oh, my panda. Oh wow. That's, that's got to be the next level stuff. Okay. I guess this is have to go in there. Well, no, I want the cable. Technically, I know where to put this. Watch this. See this? It's genius. Watch this. See this? This is my uh, reflector. Just put it in here. Because guess what else is in here? HDMI cables. <laughs> so I'm going to stash everything here. And don't make sure you don't lose that. This, no, no, because this is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to have to show you right now. Watch this. Lock this up. Where's my keys? Oh, 
So you've got a lock ready to lock it up at night. Or, and you can see I have TSA locks on a bunch of other stuff too. Alright. I should be a little bit closer tonight, but I'm, I'm not sure if this is the last train or what. I might take, I might just take a train ride tonight. I don't, I'm not doing anything. I don't want to, it's getting cold, and I've been out here <laughs> way too long now. Last night wasn't too bad, other than the, other than the, 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 the two stabbings that happened like a few blocks that way. If you guys didn't hear about that, yeah, two two persons died, and three are in critical condition. This happened at the homeless shelter here, and you wonder why I don't want to stay at a freaking homeless shelter. <laughs> exact same thing that happens at Porchlight, and I used to work for them as a case manager and as the intake personnel. I know exactly what goes on in a shelter. It's the most dangerous environment you can be in. Not all of them are bad, but when you go in the major cities like San Francisco, uh, LA, like uh, Skid Row, yeah, <laughs> this stuff, where my stuff go? It was just here. It's gone. Literally just gone. Especially in LA. It's like, where's my coat? I just had my coat on my body. Where it disappeared to? This is my underwear. Oh, now you get arrested for being nudie. <laughs> now you get arrested for being a nudist. It's not your fault. <laughs> you guys are probably saying, what's the sense of humor behind that thinking? Well, it has happened in LA and San Francisco. You ever rode the BART train before? Have you ever rode the BART train system in San Francisco before? I seen the weirdest stuff happen. I seen drugs being used. I seen the guy masturbating right in front. And another woman watching porn. I seen the guy literally pick up a banana that was already eaten halfway. Guy looked normal. Business guy looked normal. He looked at the banana and then he ate it. I was like, oh, oh. You don't eat stuff off the BART train. That is just common sense. What would happen? You would get sick. Those chairs are not clean. But you pick it off the ground? Ugh. <laughs> Dude. Were you hung? Now, mind you, he looked just like me. When I wear my shirt and tie, you know, like, you wouldn't think I was, like, crazy enough to do something like that, but he was. And it's funny thing is, he didn't care who was looking. He wanted that banana. <laughs> so, then again, you can't blame him for wanting a juicy banana at the same time, too. So, you got to see the humor in that. Ooh, look at that banana. Maybe he was. Because I used to be a big fan of bananas. I used to always say, <laughs> making monkey sounds. And this is why John from Porchlight... Always take things out of, out of context. And everyone else at Porchlight. They were like, what is that? Was that a monkey sound? I was like, yeah, why? They are like, why the hell you do that? I was like, I get excited when I eat a banana. <laughs> you don't get excited when you eat healthy food? What's wrong with you? It's like the same thing as like a cheeseburger. You get excited when you drool over a cheeseburger. Well, I get excited when I eat a banana. <laughs> so don't be so biased. <laughs> All right. All right. I got to fix this. All right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't need to put this there. Check this out. I forgot about these. Uh, This is a timber. This is the timber 32L. A $300 bag. Has so many features. I forget 
this feature, well, I don't need to put it there. Boom! Yay! Perfect! Oh, yeah. And then, this I can put here. Plant this with the lock that I have. You know, that might just hit me when I'm... Let's see. Yeah, it might hit me, but it's fine. Coming too close to the ground, though. That's for sure. All right. This is my blast battery, but guys, I, I can't find power anywhere in the city. I looked everywhere, and I can't not find power. And the university here doesn't want anyone on, else on the property unless you're a student or a uh, personal faculty. So therefore, I can't go on the campus library here and use the power bricks that they have plugged up. I can't, So, which is unfortunate. So I've been looking for like, see that I found outlets, like hidden in like the bushes or the walls, can't find any. I thought I saw some here before, like three years ago when I was here. I thought I did. But maybe I was mistaken, because I shot a photo shoot right here. I did the, the, the headphone photo shoot right here for Phillips, right here. And I swear, I plugged it up and, unless they take the powers out, unless they don't want homeless people using power. See, that's another thing that the city needs to stop doing. Stop being biased and first and foremost, even someone that's home houseless, pay taxes. So you should give us the outlets to use trying to communicate because like, like, I'm going to be honest with the government right now. Every other country you go to, you'll probably find an outlet on the street. Yeah. Germany, you can find outlets on the street. Japan, oh, yes, you can. <laughs> you can find outlets on the street. I am so certain of that. You can go to China and find outlets on the street. <laughs> but when you come to the U.S., you can't find crap. So this is why I, I, I don't understand why during these COVID times, the cities, not just here, but cities, should open the electricity doors to those that don't have a home, that need power, or people that are houseless. Guys, you have to understand what the difference between a houseless person and a homeless person. A houseless person individual is a person that is currently working, but can't afford rent because the high rent prices, and high tax. A homeless person is still struggling with chronic homelessness, which is a problem in this country, and no one gives everyone the flexibility to change their lives around, because people are freaking biased. Again, like I said, even I can be biased, and I'm being biased now because I am making a, a, a very good distinction about how the city doesn't want to provide you and I power to keep communication because let's say something happened you don't have power to your phone so I'm going to keep looking for power <sighs> gonna fix my belt you guys are playing saying what's up with your style man why are you I'm warm I got the leggings on I'm warm I even got the thermal this is a long sleeve thermal this is why they don't sell this. Like this brand, Goodwill, what is it, Goodman? And Target. I got this at Target. They don't sell this in Japan. They sell another brand. But you have to understand that between the American size, like my fit is more Asian fit for a reason. So in Asia, when you go to a, a clothing store, it's more custom tailored to a tight fit. 
they're more so like American oversized fit, where it's kind of loose. That's why you got so many. You got what? What is it? You have wide, extra wide. Do you have what is the other one? Slim, which I do slim. Uh, do you have ultra slim? Like they call it. They call it skinny jeans. They call it skinny jeans. But you get my point. Yeah, <laughs> it's too much. It's just a stick to one style. Why would you have your pants all the way down here in the first place? No offense, guys, but like, think about it. You, do you understand what that means? Is there no one ever study psychology? <laughs> no one ever study. A little, 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 I, the words right there, Yuki. Yuki's talking into my head right now. A little, 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 little. Okay, Ebonics. A little, little, little. Ebonics. Little, little. <sighs> I'm tired, guys. I walked over 4,000 steps today. Hear me out. In jail, we have what we call interpreters. They infiltrate by uh, a language called Ebonics. In prison, they have street terms. We call that Ebonics. We try to translate that. What the whole pins lower to the ground thing is about. If you ever go back in the, the 20s, 30s, that means you were for sale. You were you 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 up for grabs, and you 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 you're not someone's. Uh, I'm not gonna say the B word. <laughs> yeah, you get what I'm saying. So, guys, I emphasize, please. Put your pants on your ass. I know that lights look cool and all, but it's not pretty. <laughs> and honestly, I've seen some shit stains in my days. Like, oh, dude, did you realize you have a boo-boo in your pants? And you're showing that boo-boo right through your, your undies? Do you, I don't think he was aware. This happened in New York. I just sat there and it's like, oh, he's wearing shitty dookie drawers. <laughs> <laughs> I know that sounded so funny, but yeah, shitty dookie draws, I call that. Hey, would you like some of my, would you like to see my dookie draws? Would you? Okay, this here is for, ah, uh, uh, see, 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 oh, okay, I gotta wrap it again, guys. I want to put this because this has my passport. This has my passports in it. This has my credit cards. This has to stay with me <laughs> somehow. And I got to carry that. Oh boy, look at this. <laughs> I got to carry that too. So now you see why I had to change this around. But yeah. I'm going to be out here all night then, so. I'm not. Uh -oh. Can he actually give me a ticket for being out on curfew? I'm like, dude, I don't got nowhere to go. So I'm not going to a homeless shelter. That's, 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 with this, that's not, I'm sorry, but no, uh, no, no, no. I'm trying to save my money, whatever money I have left. Now I have to be strategically smart. I don't care what the government has to say right now, because this is all bullshit. No one. Did you see my Instagram post before I left San Francisco? Did you see that young lady? The young girl. Oh, my God. She was so pretty. Oh, guys, check my Instagram. I posted on my Instagram. It's on my stories. She sat there in front of the Nico, and I was walking by. I'm like, I said, like, and I asked her because I thought something happened. I said, like, are you okay? You want me to get some help? She goes, oh, no, no, no. I just, I just lost my place and life is shitty. And she tells me, like, mind you, the only thing she wanted to bring was a few clothes and that $10,000 violin that she had. And I said, oh, yeah, I, I play sometimes too. I used to play a lot. And she goes, oh, okay. And she was like, showing me right now. I was like, wow, that's a, what is that, $7,000? I think it's like $7,000 violin. So, yeah. And that's all she wanted to take. Go check out my Instagram. You can see her post. 
I should all post all three videos because I, I was watching her for a while because there's a there was some strange older guys. The one guy walked. You see it in, in the in the post. He walked. He's like creeping under her, like behind the pillar, like this. And he's like, "Hey, I don't like that. I don't like that. Sh I don't like that shit." I'm sorry for my my language. I don't like that. I don't like when creepy guys do that to to people. You creep. You you're trying to creep, man. I would drop kick you, and panda kick you, and oh, there's my pan. This is my friends. This is my panda kung fu friends coming. Gonna kick your butt now. There's a hostel. Here's some of the YouTubers. <laughs> here's David Osher all the way from Australia. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna Australia you. <laughs> Can't give a jack your ass. <laughs> I just don't like it. But yeah, I was just trying to do my civil duty to look out for someone else. Even though I don't even know this girl. But at the time, I didn't have enough money to give her. And I wanted her to stay with me at the hostel, but I don't have. So that's why I set that in the comp. And then the, that's why I set that in the Instagram. Light, uh, I wish I had money. I would definitely give her the $31 so she could stay here for the night. That's the thing. I spoke out a term and realized that she had money because we were talking. She said, I have money. Yeah, she had money. She said, I don't want to go into a hotel because San Francisco is just too expensive. And I agree. It's just expensive. Because the hospital cost me $336 eating out those seven days. That was just ridiculous. Come on. Honestly, that money could have went to that hotel tonight instead of me being out here. I can't, can I afford $110 a night? No. I can do minimum 40 bucks. <laughs> minimum 40 bucks. But there's no international hostel here. The only hostel that's here, you got to go to Santa Cruz or Gilroy, and those are officially closed. They're not even open anymore. The, the Santa Cruz hostel, I don't think they're ever going to open. Even though I don't want to go there, but... Yeah, that was my last option. You guys are saying, why you don't want to go there? Well, before last time, if you guys didn't hear about that happened to me like four years ago, me, a German girl, uh, a, German, a German girl, I keep, I don't remember her name because I met her there. We all complained about the check-in time. Check-in time is not until about, it was 5 to 10. So, check this out. We came at 5.30, no one was there. We came back at 6.15, no one was there. But we came back at 6, it's around 6, close to 7. She was there, and she goes, oh, yeah, I stepped out, and okay, but check-in's supposed to be at 5, but you want us to check out at 11 the next morning. But here's the thing. There was a curfew in that hostel. Don't ask me. <laughs> I don't know why. She was like, oh, there's a curfew, so you have to be inside before 11. The doors will lock, automatic lock. I was like, what? I got to shoot video. That's, this is why I'm here. This is what I do. You're telling me I can't be out in the streets at night? Oh, I didn't know I signed up to be a parent. I didn't not, I'm sorry. I didn't know that I signed up to be told what to do with my life. That doesn't make sense. Curfew? Wow, all the homeless guys are sleeping on the train. Oh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> wow, there's too many of them on the train. Oh, I guess we're going to stay here tonight. But I need to look for power. I need to charge the phone and the power brick. I definitely need to charge this power brick. I need power for the mob. Guys, I don't like this stuff, so I'm just going to throw it away. That shit made my stomach feel like, ugh. It's the caffeine. This is why I don't do caffeine stuff. You got some places. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell is wrong with you? You French, Asian, black? Are you telling me you don't like caffeine? It's not, it's not me, man. It, well, it is me. It's my body. I've been like that. I've been all jacked up since I was a kid. You know what my mother did? Fed me. She didn't realize it. 
because maybe she should stay home more often than fucking. You know, well, my nanny was hot, so I didn't care. <laughs> yeah, I had a hot Asian nanny. <laughs> she was hot. Still hot. In my opinion, still hot. She might be, what, how old is she now? She's probably right now by like, what, 51? Still hot, in my opinion. Oh, Japanese women look so beautiful when they age. I don't care what no one says. I see the most beautiful older Japanese woman uh, when I was in San Francisco, and she was stylish. Like, she looked like a teenager. <laughs> That's crazy. But insane. Crazy, but insane. And I was looking at it, and I was like, oof. You want to go on a date? Because, hey, I was doing the R. Kelly thing. Hey, it's nothing but number, baby. No, I'm not going to pee on you. <laughs> I don't do stuff like that. But I will. I'm not going to lie. I will drink sake before I, we, we do our little business. Because uh, sake, karaoke, you must have those fun activities before you get into something like that physically with someone that you really don't know. The best way to actually have them to know you is have a good time. Go out to do some karaoke. Go have some food. Don't just be on a date with you and her or you and him or her and her. Just be around friends. And then at the end of the night, you can separate from friends and, you know, make your move. And I don't know what you guys do. I don't really make a move. My move is just simple as that. Have a good time. Whatever happens, happens. That's how I see it. This has to dry. Oh, I'm sorry. Earlier today, my asthma was acting up like crazy. If you watch that live stream, my chest was, I couldn't breathe. Now I'm able to breathe because I'm not carrying all this crap. That's, 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 that's a sign that I need to change my dose. Yeah, I need to change this. Where is it? Yeah, I got, I don't even know why I have all this hygiene stuff. I bought an extra toothbrush today, because the toothbrush I'm using, it was, it was at the hostel, so I threw that one away, because that's contaminated. <laughs> yeah. See, I got this one. This is my, uh, uh, Poirier, HR, HRP. This one's strong. This works, but it takes some time to kick in. Especially if you're wheezing, like I was earlier. Yeah, it just takes a little bit more time to kick in. Contact duties. You order rent. So I got the whole kitchen and, and bathroom complete. Let me show you. Oh, yeah. Scissors. You know, get those nose hairs out. Get those nose hairs. I don't have the small one. I even got my contacts. That I'm not wearing because uh, it's cold and what happens when I wear my contacts when it gets cold they frost up like last year remember in the winter they kept frozen up and they got stuck to my eye I had to go to the eye doctor to remove the contact from my eye yeah that was terrible so lesson learned don't use a certain uh, moisturizer for your contacts because what it does is dries up and that was my mistake Okay, these, you see this brand? This is called the Good, Goodwill, Good Men, Good Fellow. Sorry, Good Fellow Company. This is what this is. This is what this is. This is what this is. Yeah, all good, Good Fellow Company clothing. Stuff with the H and M coat, cause uh, this was, this is I got it for sale. They wanted like, what was it? If it wasn't for sale, it would have been like a hundred and seventy dollars or something like that. So I got it for like seven. Uh, what was it? Like ninety dollars. I was like, not bad. This is not bad, cause uh, you see that? That guy we had two electric scooters. <laughs> but yeah, I got a whole hygiene. I even got a spongy. Got to keep my skin caressed, and I even got face for my face when my face gets dried. I got a special Japanese hand soap 
for my face. Because the soap here is like detergent based and it's disgusting. Yeah, if you guys don't know about your own soap and you yeah guys don't buy soap that is detergent based because that's not good for your skin. What here's the reason why. When you start feeling scratchy, itchy skin, then you know why. That's detergent. I don't even wash my clothes with detergent. I use a, a detergent based free soap for my clothes. Does that stuff make you itch? People think you are, you're fucking going crazy or you got, you're on drugs, you, you're tweaking out, you're like, ah, eh, eh. No, it's detergent. That's why, oh wow, this is why I think everyone should be careful what they put on their body. And the reason why I said that is because I keep seeing shadows. I think it's, I'm tired and I'm seeing spots. Anyway, the reason why I bring that up is because of uh, what I was going to say about detergent. There was something happening with detergent. Something happened to, not the detergent. This is why I don't do American toothpaste anymore. Did you know I have a related action to fluoride? That's why I use baking soda based so, uh, toothpaste. Only baking soda based toothpaste. Fluoride is not good for you. That's why it's banned in Asia. <laughs> that's why I wasn't used to that. And that's what probably messed up my teeth even further, messing with that stuff. So now I'll just go to the Asian market and just buy it. Yes, so your toothpaste also might have some type of ingredient that, <laughs> that's why you should read the labels sometimes. Read them sometimes. You'd be surprised. You'd be like, oh, wow, my, my panda, panda was right. I am not using this toothpaste. Here, you see what we've been putting in our mouths? What is that? That's a chemical that's in cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, you guys don't even know that, did you? Yeah, they use a chemical that they also put in cigarettes. It's not as strong. Yeah, that's why toothpaste came on the fire long ago back in the day. Yeah, there was so many controversy about toothpaste. Does it really clean? Why did FDA approve something that is actually really poison? Does it make sense? Fluoride is poison. Just like uh, iron dye salt. Guys, please don't eat iron dye salt. That's not good for you. Sea salt, it's good. And don't even put too much sea salt. All you need is like sprinkle. Just a little sprinkle. Don't need a excessive amount of pepper and salt. Food already has its own natural salt. If you know how to cook your food right, you don't need to add salt. <laughs> Am I right, Gordon Ramsay? Favorite chef in the world. I'm sorry, but he's my favorite chef in the world. You guys might be saying, yeah, you probably like that cook hat. Well, yeah, I like the, I like the British sometimes. They got their own, like, swagger. Sometimes it's like, I feel like, man, you guys got that sexy voice. And you ladies, I want that. But, eh, then again, I don't want to be that rice lady that messed up. I don't understand how you people do not know how to cook. Asian fried rice. It's so easy. So easy. And yes, listen to Uncle Roger. Let him know. MSG. Yeah, people put MSG in everything. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Uncle Roger, but I can't do the MSG. You know what happens when I put the MSG in? Ooh, diarrhea for me. Not good. I'm weak. No, 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 no. You blame, you blame everybody. You blame society for making me weak. <laughs> food consumption, how they make food makes your body weak. When you eat, consume that as your baby, it actually makes you weaker. So imagine if you're a baby, you ate everything correctly. Oh my God, you may be a super powerful little kid when you grow up. Oh. Because everyone thought, I, I ate too much cereal. 
I, I despise milk and cereal, to be honest with you. I don't despise it. I just don't eat it. And then when I do eat it, it's always with almond milk, special K, uh, uh, almond base, or like a, a wheat based cereal. And that's rare if you see me eat cereal. Because I eat ramen every day for breakfast. <laughs> that's just, you guys know that. I eat ramen for breakfast every morning. That's just a common thing. But American, American cereal is not something that I particularly am fond about because of, like I said, the additive sugars and high court syrup and sugar. It's not good. Just like I just said, like iodized salt. Oh, hold on one second. I got to put this up. Iodized salt. Bad for your liver, bad for your heart. Why do you think you guys have the, the most highest, uh, what is it? Uh, right on the tip of the tongue. You see this guy? See, I'm trying to avoid people. You see this guy? You see what he just did? This is why I kept talking. He walked around me. Step right there, saw this GoPro. See? Come on! Waiting for a fight. Because I'm waiting. Gonna kick that ass. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just waiting. <laughs> you guys are about to see the first YouTube fight on a live stream. Because <laughs> some guy wants to be a, a coward and not gonna get a job. That's a coward. In my opinion, looking for an easy fucking uh, fix to rob people. I'm sorry for the language again, you two. But I do have to emphasize the reality of this whole pandemic. It has turned people ugly. It has turned people against each other. And it has turned people... Um, um, uh, it's turned people into savages and uncorroborated people that can't not see one point of view. Like, I'm sorry to say this, but on... I said this in the live last last stream, but what happened in Wisconsin during the summer? Kyle, Rid Riddit Bird, whatever his last name is. How the hell? Let me ask you, American people, this question. Be serious with me right now. Seriously, why would you raise two million dollars to bail this guy out for killing two people, but you can't raise two million dollars to go help? Feed a family of four. You can't even raise $500, but you raise $2 million for this jackass? Then shoot me. Because I don't want to hear anything about it anymore. If, 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 if that's the way the world works, and this is how the country works, oh, shoot someone, we bail you out of jail. Oh, yeah, you're white. You, 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 got, you got white privileges. I'm going to say white privileges for a reason. And some of my Caucasian American friends would also agree. Like, yeah, that's that's a privilege that that shouldn't never been given to him. He he murdered two people. You're a 17 year old kid walking around with a what is it? A, a, a M9. I could be mistaken in weapons. I'm not really big on guns. I like I'm an archer. I like bow and arrows. Yes, I play video game first person shooters, but I know those weapons. <laughs> like the Havoc, the R99 on Apex Legends. The Spitfire, the, the, the Craver, the Triple Take, which I call it, to me, the Triple Take is one of my favorite sniper guns in that game because it, 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 it's like a shotgun. You can use it as a shotgun or you can use it as a sniper. It's so sick. But anyway, it's, yeah, back to what I was saying before. Just shoot me because if that's the way that it's going to work, then... It, it, just, it, it shows you that no one cares about no one else's life. This kid took someone's life because he thought he was cool. But carrying a weapon and being cool because he wanted to be part of some a, a militia group? I'm sorry, kid. But that was, at 17, you should be thinking about books. Being a doctor or being a uh, scientist or not walking around carrying... R9s and R16s and like, yeah, I'm a man. I'm 17. I got a gun. Oh, I'm going to shoot these people. Oh, they're trying to attack me and say, why? Yeah, that's just, that's just crazy. In my opinion, that's just crazy. So guys, if you just tune in, I am now in San Jose. I am houseless. Uh, I'm trying to save money because it's so pandemic. For nine months, I tried. I tried so much. 
for nine months, I dated my savings. I didn't enter my reserves. And I'm not happy. So this is why I'm out here. This is why I'm doing this live stream outside. Because I want to emphasize to the government. I want to stick it to the government where they need it. Because I believe, if I'm right, I think I can... I'm not sure. I'm not right, but... There's got to be a way I can have the government responsible for my life and yours. They owe us. Not That stimulus check, I don't want that. Looted. I'm sorry, but I don't want that stimulus check. I want a bigger stimulus. I don't, I don't want 1200 or two grand stimulus check. I want a $10,000 stimulus freaking check for all the stuff that I have been through. The lawsuits, that EEOC, still not going to... They, they still haven't processed any of that work. Yes, they haven't processed any of it. They've been delayed because of the COVID in Wisconsin and all this other crap that's gone on. So, yeah, I have to wait a little bit longer for it. Yeah, and the unemployment. I got to wait for all of that for next year. I don't want it. I don't want the unemployment. Keep your stupid unemployment down. Um, yeah. About time you guys get around to me, I'll probably either be out of here or... I don't want to say bad things, but things can get worse, just like that. I don't take, listen, I love my life, I love yours, because your lives and my lives, we share something in common. That is, we're trying to stay alive. We're all trying to survive, but <laughs> Nancy Bitch Pelosi wanted to decide, I want a biggest dinner check. You won't take the 1.9. Mind you, you won't take the 1.9, and not only that, Nutrient just got back the 480 mil, billion, 80 million, what is it, 80 billion dollars from the Treasury. So you put that on top of that, why? Oh. Politicians suck. That's all I'm saying. Not all of them, but this year, last year, all sucky. Sucky, sucky, sucky all day. They all suck. You'd rather see people suffer and die so you could get a seat or keep your seat in office. You know what would have been better? If you would have fought for us, you could have got the votes. See? People don't think that way. If you would have fought for us, every single last person on this planet or in this country, not planet. If you would have, you could have saved so many lives. Trust me. You could have saved a lot of lives today. No, no, thank you. Don't eat pizza. Yeah, don't smoke. Nope, don't smoke, don't want pizza. I don't want that stuff. Why I don't want pizza? Because uh, cheese, dairy, and all that other stuff was on it. And uh, mind you that I'm, I'm easy to get sick quickly, so... T but yeah. What, how many minutes is here? Oh, we've been on for over an hour, okay. Okay. I think I can end the live stream with a note. Guys, uh, let's emphasize the train one more time. It is a cold night. It's a cold one. But anyway. Look at this. So this guy is right there. He's staying right there. He's waiting for something. So I'm going to pull out my mace. Okay. He's, he's walking. It's the second time he's came around looking at the GoPro. Ah! I don't want to spend a hundred dollars on a hotel tonight. That's just a waste. Oh! Oh! 
Mind blown. Can't go to South America. I tried that. <laughs> they don't want no Americans in there. <laughs> I don't blame them. <laughs> I really don't. No, uh-uh. You're American. Get out of here. Go take your COVID to someone else. <laughs> All right, I'm taking this fan off because I need it. It's just nighttime, and I need the police to see me. You guys are like, what? Yeah, I need the police to see me. I want, I want them to see me. I want to know that my presence is here. Most people that travel, uh, travel across state to state, they don't want their presence known, but I do. Because I, I, uh, when you get your presence known by police, law officials, that makes a difference. Because they are going to stop me tonight after curfew. I'm pretty sure of that. So when they do it, I'm like, listen, I just got here. I don't know where to go. I'm not staying at the homeless shelter. After what happened yesterday down here, the two stabbings. And three in critical condition? Two die, three in cr critical condition? No way. I take my ch chances out somewhere in a park, somewhere on a corner. <laughs> At least I can keep one eye open. <laughs> okay, I need to buckle up. It's getting cold as crap right now. Oh my god, it's cold. Woo! I gotta take the hand warmers out now. Oh, but... Guys, I got hand warmers. Give me a second. I'm going to show these hand warmers. They are sick. Well, they work for a little bit, but they use the... Uh... Oh, wow. The zipper. Ooh. I'm trying to zip up because it's getting cold. So I got the vent on. I'm also going to turn this on, too. Ah. I'm going to turn this on. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to turn this on. Did the, did the hustle... What? Did the hustle you wanted to go to fall through? No. They're closed. Uh, no. They are closed. That hostel is closed because... First and foremost, it's in the wrong location. And not a lot of people do stay there anyway. Oh, I need these gloves. Not a lot of people stayed at that, that international hostel. I only like the high international hostel. That's why this city here needs one too. But then again, they don't because there's too many homeless people here. That would, that would definitely destroy the hostel. Because not all homeless... I, I, listen, hear me out, guys. Not all homeless people are bad. But you got individuals that will go into a hostel, which just happened... Three days ago. Why you say that? Because there was a fire that broke out. <laughs> I forgot to share that video with you guys. I'm going to post it on Instagram. Yes, a fire happened because the hostel gave someone a chance. Turns out that this person was smoking crack in, in the room <laughs> and set a small little fire. So that goes to show you why the, there's no hostel here. <laughs> Good reason why. Water bottle. Okay. So we're going to flag down a police officer. I'm like, hey, officer, can I ride with you for a night? Can I get some footage? People would like to see what you're doing. Can I sit in the back seat like I'm arrested or something? <laughs> you know what? That would be actually pretty cool. To get the policeman to actually give me a ride in the back seat and record. That would be awesome. Get some real, real footage like what a police officer actually does. No, this is not cops. Okay, I, I want to do something better than cops. But cops is a good show. Because I'd be like laughing my ass off when I see stupid individuals like do stupid things. I'm like, oh, that is so funny. Because if that was in Japan... That person would have never ran. That person would be like, listen, I did it. I give up. Take me in. 
You know? Like, they don't, they don't fight back as much. Here, <laughs> if, you guys seen Cops, the show? Oh, my panda. So funny sometimes. Like, hey, man. <laughs> this, this is the way, like, how they, they, they interact with the police. And then they know they're guilty of something. They, they try to talk nice at the first, like, 10 seconds. Like, hey, I'm just here. Just, like, I'm just chilling, man. Just, I'm just on my business. Well, we got a phone call. Like, yeah, yeah. That, well, that's not me. And then all of a sudden, the guy goes, goes crazy and takes off. And he runs a little goofy and runs a little funny. He has this, like, funny run. Like, uh, <laughs> sometimes they don't even make it half over a gate. Oh, wow, someone's texting me. Oh, wow, someone's, oh, wow, someone wants to donate from Instagram. Uh, I don't have another phone. I think this person is asking me, what's my YouTube channel? Hold on, let me find out. Can I find out real second, please? Like... What is your YouTube? I misunderstood that comment. It was someone from Malaysia asking me a question. Yeah, there's a there's a people from Malaysia asking me this question. Like, oh, why don't you come back there and teach? And like, ah, I wish. You know what you gotta do to go to Malaysia to like, oh wow, that's even harder than Japan sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Believe me, it's not a. <laughs> that means you have to like basically start over. Yeah. I don't have the resources. I, I wish people stopped asking me like I have money to go to these places because I did have money to go, but I had to take care of legal problems. Thought I was going to win my money right back away, but obviously that's not going to happen. Let me turn this off for now. Okay, what's the comment? Oh, okay. Wait, what was the comment? I saw the comment. What time is it over there? Uh, this watch says... Uh, it's 10.52. Get your ass out of the track, you dumb dumb. This guy is in the middle. Oh, wow. That's why the train slowed down. Oh, wow, wow. He's like at the edge over there on that side. What a dick. <laughs> Come on, dude. Look at, look, 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 look at these, look at these, look at these bunch of freaking stupid kids. Look at this. You hold up a train because you think you're cool to get close to it. How stupid is that? <laughs> so you want to show in front of your friends that you're cute. See, this is what I'm talking about. The stupidity. You're going to touch the train as it passes by. I know they do that because that's why they put this fence here. Guys, three years ago when I was here, does anyone remember? I just to take pictures right there where that fence was. Now, look. That's why that fence is there. Kids like that make, make, the, make life harder for people in the city that live here. No responsibility. What kind of, what kind of adult are you? you you're, you're a teenage adult and you're going out there being an asshole. Stupid. You don't care about your life, so you want to show off. This is how you, this is how you show off. Oh, let me put you guys up. This is how you show off. Okay? Tell your friends. Right? This is how you show off. You tell your friends. Come with me to my school. You'll learn a thing or two about art. Let's go for photography. <laughs> learn it sometime. It's fun. Actually, save my life. It helped me with my mental health. It helps me do my my anxiety. It helps me calm my nerves when I'm agitated. Photography does a lot for me. That's why I love it so much. This is why I have to continue to do it, guys. Because honestly, like I try my best. I even try talking to Yuki as like not as like a friend or ex-wife, but you know, as someone that does 
to college education, and you know, no one's even better. Yeah, I think photography is probably the best cure right now. Because you guys know I me mean, when I'm when I shoot, I get I get crazy happy. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, let's go do this. Like, I have this. This is all wool to do the fire exposure here. I can't do it in San Francisco because San Francisco, last time I did it, they gave me a ticket. That was a $300 ticket. I'm not doing that again. Yeah, there's no fire, open fires in San Francisco. That's why. That, they consider that as an open fire. If you live in San Francisco, you know that law, then yeah, you know. Yeah, I can see that happening. So that's why I don't do fire explosions in San Francisco. I do it in Portland. I do it here. I do it in St. Mateo. I do it in, uh, what is it, Santa Barbara? Santa Cruz, I never did it, but I heard you can get in trouble in a way. I'm not sure. I need to look into that. Because... Because the last time I was in Santa Cruz, I went with a girl. We took a picture. I did a light painting and astrophotography in the background at the same time. So what I did was I took the long exposure for about, what was it, one minute and 23 seconds. And one minute, no, within the first 50 seconds, I asked her to get in the frame. And I want her to just stand there. And I'm going to take the wand. Take the wand. Keep doing that. You can't do it for a quick five seconds or like, no, you got to live, you got to stay there at least 15 seconds so it actually burns into the image because that's a long exposure that you're opening. So if she had to stand still for quite some time, so she's, she's really good at what she does. And she was standing there at the, yeah. That was, it took a couple of times to get it right, but it was worth the shot. But yeah, I don't know where to go, guys, tonight. So I don't know where to go, and I can't find power. So I'm going to try to look for more power. I'm, I need to look for power, because so I need to charge a couple of things. Uh, yeah, I need to charge this GoPro. I need to charge the battery brick for the GoPro. I need to charge this battery brick, this battery brick too. That's the one about to die too. I'm eating up the last energy of that one. So, and there used to be a safe, there used to be a safe way right here. It had been so much easier for me to just go and get some food, but guess where the safe way is now? All the way on the other side of the town. What a, that's stupid. You're telling me that you don't have a main supermarket in the downtown area of San Francisco. I mean, uh, what is, uh, uh, not San Francisco, uh, what is, what is this place again? Uh, oh, I'm so tired. Silicon Valley. This is Silicon Valley, people. Nothing but Adobe, right? Two blocks that way. Fuck those guys. Remember that job interview? I went to that job interview by his pricks. <laughs> That's why I came here, for that job interview, and they've been biased, pricks. And here's the thing, no offense to native Hindu or an, an Indian that come here for education, but how are you going to judge me and ask me about how I cheat myself as a... As, as, as a as an American, I guess. And I'm like, that was just like, you don't even understand that term yourself. How can you ask me that? What can I, what can I give to the company that no one can offer? Easy. Panda. Me. I can give you me. No one is not, let me explain that. No one is like me. No one isn't, no, no one isn't me. No one. <laughs> It's not like me. I'm unique. So the best thing I can give you is what I learned over the years. If you're talking about language barrier, that's no problem. If you're talking about 
op being open minded to your uh, to a customer, yeah, I'm willing. I, I talked to you guys on the phone before, and I'm sorry, you guys kind of suck. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I felt that, and and the other questions were just like, oh, that's it. No, no, this is more like, are you asking me because I had I had I didn't have this stuff with me. I had this bag with me. I told him the truth. Listen, I am houseless. I'm looking for a job. I have an education. I'm looking for an opportunity. And you're telling me that you can't give me the opportunity based because of my work, because of my current living status? Bush. 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 Because of my living status, you won't give me a job. Screw you, Adobe. <laughs> Screw you. Mind you, you probably went to the university here. Mind you, most of the most of the people that actually work at Adobe actually still they went to the university here. They live probably across the street. But that Hindu guy, that was some racist shit. <laughs> And profiling. You won't give me a job because of my work, my women's status. Man, listen. How many people you know can take care of themselves, not do drugs, not do alcohol, don't abuse, don't steal? How many people you know that come, come in your office that can say that? That are houseless. That have that education. How many people you can actually say that? I want, I want to emphasize that to the Adobe, but they never answered the question when I told... Uh, emailed them. It's like I felt that the interview was just <coughs> <coughs> bougie. <laughs> it was just not cool. But anyway, guys. Oh, we got a full battery. Yay! I can take this out. Yay! And I probably killed it. That's why. <laughs> I probably killed that battery brick. <laughs> but yeah. So there's there used to be a Safeway here. It's not there anymore. I don't know why. But apparently it's on the other side of town, which is far, so I can't get my uh, vegan burritos anymore. Uh, if you guys remember that two years ago, I used to come here and get the vegan burritos. Oh, my panda, that was so good. And I, I kind of want to see Sheila, because she was the black woman. I was like, oh, hey, panda. It's like, burrito today. I was like, yes. She got, she got it right every single time. Oh. And I got her addicted to it. She goes, you know what? You make me start less eating meat. I was like, good. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to stop you from eating meat. But no, but that was actually really, she said to herself, that was pretty much a really good burrito. We should put that on the menu. I was like, you guys should. I hope they did. Because that was a damn good burrito. I don't care what no one says. For $4.99, that was the best burrito you're going to get. You had, you had the wedgies. That were not seasoned, mind you. They don't use salt. Uh, you had all veggies included, artichokes, uh, green pepper, no cheese. You had the sriracha sauce. You have uh, pe green peppers, red peppers. You had the, the spinach. You had a little bit of kale in there, too. It was a mixture of everything that you can get. And, uh, yeah. It was a damn good burrito. So, proud of that burrito. Kind of hungry now. I want that burrito. Yeah, I'm kind of hungry now. Wow, that's that's crazy that I'm getting hungry because I think about a burrito that I don't want to eat. Because, guys, when I eat, I nitpick. I'm not your average eater that is going to literally. Well, that day at the Japanese restaurant. I was really, really hungry when I had those two soba dinners. Oh, yeah, I was really hungry. It almost finished that. I don't do that. I don't like doing that because I overeat. But I was just trying to see if I can, I can complete a food challenge because <laughs> I haven't really done one of those in a while after the surgery. Yeah. I haven't really done one in a while. So, Sorry. I'm going to put this back together. That's why I'm going to put you guys down. I don't want to use my crazy glue. You guys know, this is like my secret weapon to fix this, a lot of my a lot of my gear. <laughs> this is the, the magic touch. Oh, 
all is magic. Crazy glue, magic. Two things I emphasize. Crazy glue, WD-40, and graphics tape. <laughs> graphics tape. Why? Because I got it on my uh, I got it on my tripod. Why you have graphics tape on your tripod? I like the grip. But isn't the grip on the tripod hint? Well, it's smooth because it's carbon fiber, but I need grip. And... It is slippery with carbon fiber because every time I hold, I'm slipping. It's like, hey, am I jerking my tripod off right now? Because that's what it feels like. <laughs> like, so I put the graphics tape on there. Hmm. Yeah. S swing it. Ah, not slipping out your hand or falling out. Or that's also another reason why I put the graphics tape on there because I notice it. Even though it's carbon fiber, it slides off the boot bag. Another reason why I put graphics tape or athletics tape. Main reason why. So, take it with the grain of salt. So. What the hell is in Gilroy? That's what I want to know. Oof. Not in my eyes. Ah, oh, my eyes are so sensitive. Sorry with the dust. But wait, 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 comment. Sorry, I missed the comment. What is your favorite piece of camera gear you have? Hmm. Favorite piece of camera gear I have is probably... Hmm, the Pelican case. I know that's not a, a piece of gear, but let me explain why it's a part of my gear. I had that thing for like eight years. It's been through hell and back. It actually got lost through Transport Customs and then got returned to me because of the GPS tag. If I didn't have a GPS tag and then I didn't pinpoint it, I would have lost everything in that in that uh, case. But yeah, the, my favorite one is that damn Pelican 1510 case. Now, currently, my favorite piece of gear right now is that Sigma, uh, not Sigma, that Irix 15. Oh my boy. That lens is just, uh, it's just dangerous and legally sharp. It should be illegal to have to be that sharp. So, you talking to me? Ah, uh, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> See, telling me to shut up. You heard that, right? You guys heard that. Rude. I will come over there and beat your crap out of you. And then after that, I get David Oyster come over from Australia to beat the crap out of you with, with the kangaroos. <laughs> and then I have some other people come back from uh, Ireland. Oh, you don't want me to get my island people on yet. Oh, yet. <laughs> some real Irish coming in this goddamn states. <laughs> I'm just trying to joke. But yeah, he told me, told me to shut up from a distance. Come on, I got the headphones on, dude. I can hear everything. What do you, what do you cannot? I think people just uh, don't think. Noise canceling headphones are that damn good, especially these Sony headphones. Mind you, these are the Sony Hanwan uh, 900 Mark IIs. Oh, my panda. I don't like the Mark IIs. They look like, they look skull candy-ish. I don't like that bubble look. I like this architecture look. I like this... I like this design better. It looks more appealing. It has flavor, has style. Like the, the new ones look like skull candies, like bubble little kit can like headphones. No, these look like real headphones. I don't want kit looking like headphones with different colors. That's not what true audio enthusiasts want. We don't want colorful packing headphones. We want better drivers, better sound, Better noise cancellation, better quality when speaking into the noise cancellation. Why would you give me a color and then price it at uh, $199? I bet you it's the same damn technology from the last. You just changed the, 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 the body and design. That's it. So don't be fooled. Don't always upgrade right away, guys. See, and that was my point with the GoPro 9. Oh, wow, I can't put this on. Okay, that's a problem. Then it has some video problems. Then it has some really warping issues. 
Then it had some artifacting problems. Oh, I had to get rid of it. I was like, okay, going back to the 7 and 8. I sold the 7 and kept the 8. I think the 8 is the best one. Because you know why? The audio adapter still works. Because it doesn't work on a 7 anymore. I don't know why they did that, but a lot of people have a speculation that they want you to upgrade. They force you to upgrade. This is how they get you to upgrade. They disable things on your old GoPro to get you to upgrade. And I'm sorry, GoPro, but the G1 chip is pretty damn old now. It's time to upgrade. <laughs> it is definitely time to upgrade. <sighs> but anyway, we out here. Nice lights, right? So, if you guys don't know about these lights, there's a number you can contact. Uh, who told me this? An actor that I met here long ago, uh, David Klein. He's an actor. Uh, he's on my Instagram. He was like, if you call the number, you can change the colors and everything. I was like, so I did that. And a time lapse. You remember the time lapse? You see me standing in the. Uh, you see me stand right there. Wait, wait, can you guys see that? You see me stand right across the street. I'm in the time that I'm standing. You can see these lights change color. And that's because I called the number and changed the, you could change the color mode. Some people in the neighborhood do it on a daily basis. Just to play around with that. <laughs> so that's what I was told. And then that's when I took the time lapse. Oh, no, I want you guys up here because I can see you better. I put you guys on the. I need to find. Yeah, well, I need to find a charger. I looked everywhere. Guys, I had did. I posted on my Instagram. I did uh, 41,282 41, steps today. That's a lot of steps. That's a lot of miles. <laughs> I'm, yeah, that's a lot of miles. So. That's roughly what, probably 15.6. I think it's it says 15.6, but uh, mind you that uh, every city block is different. Some city blocks are longer than others, and some are shorter than others. So if they're shorter, you have to count two blocks as one. So, because apparently they're supposed to be about uh, what is it, 3,000 feet apart. Each block should be about three to four thousand feet, something like that. So, like, let me show you. You see this block here? Now that's a block, but there's a block, a couple blocks here that are shorter than this block. You don't count those blocks. So, yeah, it's like by the university. You count those. You don't count those blocks by the university because they're too short. Like this block, it's not even a block. It's just too long. This is not, it, this is like two blocks <laughs> worth. So like, you add this as two blocks worth. Like, you know, uh, yeah, it, it's just, look at that. The light is all the way down there. <laughs> and look, the next light is down there. So, oh well, yeah, about two blocks average. Like I said, Every city block is different from each, each other, but uh, yeah, everyone's out here. Look, you see the people out here walking. They are looking at me like this guy is recording everything. I'm recording everything. I want to. I want to show you if someone must mess with me. Panda's gonna fight. Panda's gonna throw down. Panda's gonna use Kamehameha. Uh, Sony Sony Kamehameha blast. A cannon. Uh, Final flash. If you guys watch Dragon Ball, hear what I'm saying. A cannon final flash blast. A, a Sony Kamehameha, right? A Panasonic, a Panasonic um, Destructo Disc. <laughs> That's from Krillin. Uh, from Nancha, it's the, it's the, the Senya Wufeng fist. <laughs> I can keep going. Oh, and for Boomer, this one, just to add some ladies into this concept for Dragon Ball, for the ladies, Sigma. That's Boomer. 
Sigma is Sigma is Buma. But yeah. Actually, no. Sigma is more like uh, Red is more like Buma, and Chichi is more like uh, Black Magic. <laughs> Because if you've ever seen Chi-Chi get mad in Dragon Ball Z, did you know she can use Kaioken? Did any of you freaking Dragon Ball Z nerds knew that? She's skill in Kaioken. No one knew that. I was like, wait, she can use Kaioken? Yeah, she can use Kaioken. So, and she used it a few times in Dragon Ball. Ah, see? Everyone kept saying, that's not real true Kaioken. Yes, it is. It's a Kaioken. <laughs> so, I don't want to hear that. Oh. These people don't know how to drive for shit in San, San, San Jose. I, I totally forgot how bad drivers are here. I already seen two people dro drove down the wrong street. Earlier, when I passed here four hours ago, before I went to Japantown, this woman, mind you, you see these green pillars? You see these green pillars, right? You see how this is for the bike lane, right? She was here. You know what she did? I'm going to show you what she did. She drew her car through this divider to this pillar and this pillar, went through here to the railroad tracks, Try to go down the railroad track, mind you, and then drove up on the sidewalk and then turned back this way and then was about to go this way and then go and went this way. It's all on camera here. And I hope San Jose police sees that. This begs a question once again. This begs a question. How did they get their driver's license here? How? Just ask that question. How did they get the license? Oh, the yeah, you were like the wrong person. <laughs> See? Everyone thinks I'm a fucking girl. Why is that? <laughs> Why the fuck is that? See, you heard him, right? He, you're wrong girl. Oh, so you think I'm a chick? Damn, my legs look. I'm I'm that I'm that sexy. I'm that attracted to men and female, uh, male, male and female. That shows you. It. I got skills. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but it shows you that I got skills. Yeah, people are crazy, but the, you can hear me talk. I don't sound like a male to you. Oh, but you're looking at the leggings, you think I'm like, uh, actually the other guy thought I was a, trans, a transgender, and I was like, well, you have a problem with that, if I was? Because, let me tell you, if you do, you're the wrong person I should be talking to right now. Because <laughs> I don't like people that discriminate. I, I'm done with that, the whole discrimination, racist crap. I'm done with that. Done with the photographers with the racist crap. I don't want to hear that. This guy thought I was chick. All right. Maybe. Don't look like I have women parts. Maybe my ass does because you guys saw that Instagram post. That was for the ladies. Mind you, you guys were watching it. That's. I, I want to ask you guys a question. <laughs> You guys were watching that post, and that was, he clearly said, poor ladies, right? Why'd you, why would you heart it? Someone hearted it. I'm not going to say who was, who they were. I'm like, really, man? I was waiting for the, my friend from Turkey to give it a life because it was meant for her. Because uh, she said she missed me, and she wished she could come to the States. I was like, no, you don't. I wish I can come to Turkey. She got, it's bad there too. And I was like, I understand that, but it's not as bad as it's, what it's here. Right now, everyone's doing crazy stuff right now. There's shootings, there's stabbings. You got this guy thinks I'm a woman. I think that's why people are stopping. They think I'm a woman because 
the boots, maybe? Maybe throw them off? I don't know. Like, but again, people people see these boots like, wait. <laughs> like I said, assumptions are not very good. How are you homeless? You you got two hundred dollar boots on. Dude, I had these boots for two years. At that time, I had a government job. <laughs> wow, look at this. I just noticed that too. Look how they confetti all like that size pretty much nicely taggy, I guess. But it's that side that's Terribly tagged. They like really wrecked on that uh, business right there. But you can see, like most of the businesses here don't are, are not really boarded up. They're not really boarded up. Same in San Francisco. Not really boarded up. As I emphasize, in Eugene, Oregon, not 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 one business was boarded up in Eugene, Oregon. But there was one bank that was, and that was Wells Fargo. So let's go find the Wells Fargo and see if they boarded up their bank. If they did, we're gonna, we are going to pick a fight with them. Why would you board it up? Why would you do that? Why everyone else is here? Oh, because why? You got caught in some scandal a couple years ago? We, you didn't, you, if you guys don't know about that little scandal, bull crap thing they did it, with accounts, yeah, well, Fargo, <laughs> I think I'm misinterpreting that word wrong, but uh, something like really shady happened, and this is why my Chinese friends is like, I don't want to think with Wells Fargo anymore. Something happened to her money, and yeah, it, it just, uh, and then, what was it, like six months later, there was a report about like, Wells Fargo's bacon, I gotta look it up, because I don't have my laptop. Okay, GPS tag is on. I got a GPS tag on. Okay, so I got a hundred and how much I got on my bank account? I got a hundred and thirty-five dollars. So that has to last me as far as I can imagine. But I'm hungry and there's nothing open. I'm kind of thirsty too. No, I do not want beer. I cannot drink beer when I'm in this situation. No, no. No way. I know you guys are probably saying, but try to have one. You're like, no. Because what it does is it's going to make me sleepy. And I don't want to go to sleep. Because I am honestly am still a little bit on edge tonight. Because some things have happened. I had guys walk around me. I had people looking for me. Because if I start walking a different direction. If I do walk in another direction. And I see the same parties. They might have the opportunity to tell their friends. And then they have an opportunity and the upper hand on me. So I'm, the reason why I'm here, there's a camera right there, camera right there, camera right there, camera right there, camera on that building, camera on this building, this lot, this parking lot, that quarter. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm not moving. I'm not stupid. I want to stay in this corner. For a reason. I sleep here all night if I have to. I would not, I don't want to be anywhere if there's no surveillance camera. I want to see, I want the people to see where I am. Like I said earlier in this live stream, I want the police knowing my presence is here. I need to put the mask on. The reason why I don't have the mask on, I still apologize for that, ladies and gentlemen, because there's no one out here right now. And earlier today in my other live stream, I was having really hard times, difficulty breathing through the mask. And that's not the first time. So this been ha this has been happening through the pandemic. I haven't really talked about it much, but you guys seen the first hand how I was, I was struggling. I don't, I, 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 it, was, it was strange. There's no hills here and I was struggling. So the, yeah. That's why I'm so, um, I guess I'm, 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 I'm going to firecrack it up. <laughs> like, I've been up for, oh, oh, I'm, I will be up for 48 hours. At 7 o'clock, it'll be 48 hours. See? 
It's stopping. Watch. And then you're gonna back, you're gonna turn around, you're gonna make a U-turn, you're gonna come back around, you're gonna ask me a question. Watch this person turn around and ask me a question. Mind you, it's a guy. Watch. He's gonna think I'm a woman. Again. <laughs> we're gonna see, we're gonna see. We're gonna watch this corner. Hold on. We're gonna watch the corner. No, that's not him. We're gonna watch it. Let me move this over so you guys so you guys can see this corner. I'm gonna see if he can turn around. He was looking so hard. You like my ass? You like my butt cheeks? <laughs> you like my butt cheeks so bad? Then pay me. I model. I'm a butt model. got Wi-Fi on board on the train. Yeah. See, but no, 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 I think that's how they, I think that's how homeless people are charging these days. Are they outlets on these trains? I don't think so. Is that the same guy? He's stopping. Oh, let me find out he's going to do the same thing. <laughs> you guys are looking too hard. You guys are either desperate for some, 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 for some booty or you guys have been dry for a couple of months. You didn't have some sex. Yes, I said dry because it seems like that's what this is about. These guys are so dry. So they're looking for some action. I'm not a prostitute, but I'm a photographer. And uh, I will make a open, open opinion about porn photography, <laughs> but I, I'm not, because that's not how my status is. Oh, there's one police guy here. There's one policeman, but he's driving so fast, he probably didn't care about who I was. He probably thought I was a girl too. <laughs> it's like I'm not gonna pick on the girls, pick on the guys. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna let you guys go. I want to save some. I want to conserve some batteries. But thanks for watching. Uh, you guys want to? I don't know. Leave a comment or uh, leave something nice. There's links down below to buy some of this gear that I have. That would. Well, the Amazon thing is really not a money maker. Honestly, I'm gonna tell you that the truth. Amazon and I have not really been like eye to eye. Oh. Look at that. So, uh, yeah. See you later. Thanks for watching. We haven't really been... Me and Amazon have been at war the last couple of months. They sent me a freaking uh, uh, used tripod head and then got the note to offer me back only $33. Like, no, nah, that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm telling that photo. <laughs> but anyway, so, yeah. I kind of want to conserve some battery, but I also don't want to be alone. I kind of am lonely right now, so I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of wanted to talk with you guys. Because, uh, see, that distracts me from trying to talk to these to some of these folks out here that are trying to cause harm. So if I talk to an audience, as you saw, and people think, oh, yeah, he's doing a live stream. Oh, no, I'm not going to try to do anything on a live stream. Yeah, you quickly will be identified. <laughs> That's why... I want to try to keep this on as long as possible, but, you know, YouTube has not been in my favor at all these last, like, three years. The, m the money revenue has... Guys, I used to make $150 a month back in 2017 on YouTube. That, it dropped so much. Now it's, like, average $48 a month. What happened? YouTube apocalypse happened. YouTube started playing favoritism. YouTube started playing, oh, this creator is better than this creator. And this is how you, this is how you know YouTube is being favorites, has favoritism. When you have a trending page and you only put the title Rising, you said Rising, what is it? A, a, a rising Creator? 
No. To me, that does work in a sense, but you're also not given flexibility to the rest of the community for that. Everyone should be on that creator on a rise page. Everyone. Not just the same person over and over again. That's the, that's the thing. It's the same person over and over again until they decide who's the next person we're going to actually choose. You ever seen the same person be on the same creator page two weeks in a row? Well, yeah, that's happened quite a bit. So, yeah. But with that said, everyone, I'm the panel photographer, and I am going through a crisis. And I, I, I know, I, listen, guys, nine months I did pretty well, thanks to some of you guys, thanks to my family members, friends, lawyer, ex wife bought me that bottle. I drank that Iki Biki, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I was kind of stressed out those last couple of days last week. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> but uh, thank you, Yuki. Appreciate it. Um, yeah. But as I said before, I'm lonely and I don't want to be alone. This is why I have the live stream. And as you see, the live stream kind of works. It, it, it kind of throws people off to go the different direction. Because when you start talking and you don't respond to them like we just did in this live stream, yeah. You got to have the upper hand. You got to show them the flex muscle like this guy. Came back around. Yeah, you got the wrong dude. The wrong chick. So I'm, I'm a chick. That's like the 20th time since I've been in California in the last week. Someone thought I was a girl. And I must look freaking awesome sexy. If that's the case, then I should sell my body online. <laughs> if that's the case... I need to start making new pictures. Who wants to be my uh, my book court photographer? Because uh, I think I should. New I think I need one. Because if guys and girls are saying the same thing, then that's that's a money maker right there. I need to make that happen. <laughs> I need to make it happen. Uh oh, scooter swap. I know how that feels. When one scooter's battery is dead, you got to look for another scooter. That's what happens quite a bit. That's why I don't ride those things anymore. They're not worth it anymore. I spent too much money trying to go to the council, trying to do some work, trying to find some work in Portland. I got into a, into a school accident with a spin. They still haven't responded to my medical uh, letters. That shows you that spin does not care about your safety. Actually, I can ride one of those right now. Oh, that's what I saw right before I left uh, San Francisco two days ago. I saw the coolest thing with this guy. Homeless guy took the scooter, paid for it, right, with his phone. He took his luggage, <laughs> literally stacked him up on top of the, the, the stand, and then he sat on it, and it's like... <laughs> I was like, I have to do that. I have to do that. The dude literally stacked his luggage on it and just sat in it like a bike. And just like... I, I thought that was the most innovative thing I ever seen someone do on a scooter. Like, shh, I'm not carrying this luggage around. <laughs> most entertaining thing I have seen in San Francisco. And the old man, if you did not see... Uh... Sorry, I need to... I know there's no one out here, but I still need to put the mask on. It's been wet. It's wet. That's why I'm trying to get it to dry. But anyway, uh, the old man with the the, the handicap uh, scooter with the with the speaker. If you see my Instagram, he does that every day. You know what he? You know why he's doing that, right? He's not doing that to get attention. He's doing that because he wants people to jam. He's Cuban. He wants people to forget about this COVID crap. That's why he's like, general, he's just, I think that's cool. I think that's creative to try to get people to like dance on the street. Like, some people think it's stupid, weird. No, it's cool. Think about the message he's trying to send. 
people, we need to stop forgetting the most very important thing about our, uh, about ourselves is that we need to be also happy, even though when there's bad times. I think he was trying to emphasize that very well. Just being happy, going down the street, jamming like I do, jamming. Can you cannot discriminate against that? No way. No way. I'm sorry, but he gets a, he gets a ten out of ten. <laughs> Where's my uh? Uh oh. It didn't charge. Apparently, it's not charging properly. Uh. Hold on, let me make sure it's charging. Charging the phone correctly. I don't know why they said it was charged. Now it says it's 40%. Oh boy. I need to find an outlet. <laughs> There's gotta be. Dude, there used to be an outlet. I remember there used to be outlets here. Because, guys, remember? I used to charge stuff right here on this corner. Hold on one second. No headlights, no headlights, no headlights. Turn on your headlights. Hey, headlights. Oh, you dumb dumb. Ah. No, 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 no. So, let me show you what they just did. So, I, I was correct. There was outlets here. I'm not stupid. I remember. Here it is. Check this out, guys. This is what they did. So, this is why I said something earlier about why the city should care about everyone. Communication is important. Especially through COVID times. This is where the city, city of San, San Jose felt. You took the outlets out from every street corner... <laughs> Look at that. They took the whole damn outlet thing out. Really? Are you serious right now? You took that out? For what reason? I could have used that now to better protect myself and charge my devices so I can call 911 services. Or family members, or talk to my friends on Skype, or, or you guys on YouTube. Because as I said, I don't want to be out here alone. Not tonight, no. <laughs> no. Because I was in Santa Cruz. I was in, uh, what's that? Uh, the, what Amtrak station did I get off? Somewhere closer to like middle of the night. California, and then like realized that I couldn't transfer the ticket, I couldn't buy the ticket because I didn't have enough. Well, technically I did have enough, but I didn't have enough to eat for yesterday or today. If I would have spent that money, I wouldn't have that hundred thirty-five dollars now. So I think I made the best decision to save that money. But what I also try to um, emphasize also is. Uh, yeah, San Jose. That's that wasn't very stupid. I, 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 that, I meant to say that was very stupid, very not smart. Like I also need protection too, and I also need help. And you took the outlets out. Can you go on a campus? You have to be a student to only go on campus because of COVID. Most people walk through the campus to get home. Now you got to go walk around the campus to get to your house. Because you're not a member of the... Ho yeah, that's that's weird. That, uh, to me, that's just... doesn't. I get it, but I'm not going to enter your building. I can be outside. But then again, I understand. But then again, I'm also trying to emphasize a very important feature that we need right now. Communication. So... Yeah, I need a one of those bikes. I need a, I need a hand. I need a wagon. I definitely need a wagon. I saw the dopest wagon on on the Walmart website today. It was like one of those ones that are really good quality one, 
that had altering wheels. But here's the thing. It doesn't have like side doors and anything. It just has a puller. Because apparently it can actually transport a refrigerator. I mean like a really heavy refrigerator. And it's $129. And every person I read on an Amazon comment said it was a really, I mean, uh, Walmart comment said it was a really, really good, uh, it's a really, really good hand truck. Because the back, like, it extends. You can lock it, and you can extend it for more space. And it has these really beefy tires, and then, like, not just this thick, but this thick. Yes, this thick, this big. That thick, this big. Four wheels and it expands if you need more space. So I want to get that for this so I can actually transport it easier and leave the hand truck separated or use the hand truck for something else. See, look at that, came back. Everyone looking out for, everyone's looking for something to, 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 to steal. Okay. Why are you making that assumption, Keiki? Because that's the same guy. <laughs> that thought I was a wo I think that's saying I thought I was a woman. He wanted want he wanted want to see if I'm still here. Yes, I'm still here. I'm, and it's now Ooh. It's eleven forty one. I got seven hours before sunlight. What I'm gonna do for seven guys, give me some suggestions. I don't want to do photography because I'm little. I'm guys. I'm, I want to do it tomorrow. I'm exhausted, and I'm tired. My cat muscles feel the burn. My arms feel the burn. My back feels the, the sweatiness and cold because that's making me cold right now because of the sweat. It's making me cold. But uh, yeah, it's not too cold, but it's cold. But oh, there's a police officer again. I want to know if he's going to ask me a question. No, he's not asking me a question because there's people walking around. So I don't think they're taking a curfew really seriously. I should take it, but I don't have a place. So therefore, ha, take that with a grain of salt. Oh! <gasps> no! Guys, I just broke my head. Look at that. I just broke this. You guys fell off the... <sighs> oh, wow. I gotta... <sighs> guys, I'm gonna have to fix this. Look at that. I just broke my freaking microphone. Off the GoPro. You freaking kidding me, man. Fuck. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm seriously, I'm um, going to like literally just, I'm about to snap. I'm literally, I get, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to try to fix it. Yeah, I'm going to take you guys off this one, put you guys on the mount. Then I'm going to take this, put you guys on the mount. I'll try to put you on it in the mount. <sighs> fix it. I hope I fix it because I need that. I need that audio. God damn it! I'm sorry, guys, for the swearing. I'm sorry for the cursing. I'm sorry for the. No, thank you. No, thank you. Oh, you okay? God bless. Oh wow, this thing is coming loose too. All right. Guys, the reason why I don't want to accept food uh, is because of COVID. And I, I, I want to be safe. I know people are trying to be helpful. I know he was just trying to be helpful. He, he didn't seem like a problem because he, he walked up very gently. Other people walked up like, yeah. He, he, just, he, he said, hey, you want some? He's out here too homeless. So I, he probably figured I was hungry. I am, but I, 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 don't, I just don't. I can't touch something that I know, don't know where it came from. And not only that, I'm having a runny nose. So I do respect what he just did. 
don't, don't get me wrong, but right now I've seen some stuff, <laughs> and I'm I'm not skeptical. I'm just I'm just uh, I want to live. <laughs> I got I I need to make my life. First and foremost, I have a goal. I ha I made a promise. Let's get this down. All right, I made a promise. So I hope everyone understands that. Now let's go fix this. This is why we have this crazy glue. This is why I was emphasizing crazy glue earlier. To dead. This is why I have crazy glue, WD-40, and graphics tape. <laughs> So, let's take this off, let's take this off, see, it broke. This microphone was pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah, so every time you, hear, you, you see GoPro footage, I'm using this microphone. Good, right? Okay. Oh wow, it bent the GoPro head too. Oh wow. What's up with that? What the f What the douchebag is that? It literally Oh wow. Oh wow. It literally Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Can't believe this. That fell on the screen. Now got scratches on it. So cold out here. <laughs> I do not recommend doing your breath to clean it, but I need to get these scars out because I can't find my water thingy. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, I nicked it. You can see a little scratches. <sighs> yeah, I nicked it pretty bad. <sighs> oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I can't do nothing about those tiny imprint marks. Oh well, now we learned a lesson. Okay, we have learned a lesson today. Don't be stupid, stupid. <laughs> Good. And then take this off. Because I have to test everything out after the, I fix this. I need to make sure that the microphone is working and that go to your part. Oh wow, this thing really, oh wow, it broke, broke. Like, look, the other support leg is not even there. Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh wow, that's a mystery. Yeah, I don't see it. Oh wow. I don't see it. it. It dropped right here. So we're. Oh wow, that's 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 bonkers. But anyway, guys, I think I'll let you guys go. I need the battery. But I also need to fix this. Okay, so let me pull you guys back in and use the last of this. I don't care. If I don't have power in the morning, I don't have power in the morning. Who cares? Can't fucking find power in the city in a way. But where's the thing? Oh wow. I can't believe that red one little red piece just 
suddenly disappeared. Like, oh! Okay, so this, I can glue this. Check this out. I gotta do this fast. Because we outside. Let me glue this piece. Okay. Let's do this quick. When the screw dries up. And then slot this on here. Ah. Wait. And we're going to hold this in place for about 30 seconds. Ooh, uh, see? Crazy glue works every single time. Now we just got to find the other piece. Because, uh... I want to put the other extension leg to support it. We have to find it. Because I don't like that. That, yeah. We need to find support. Where is it? Oh, wow. You guys literally fell off the damn. I'm going to move you guys. I don't even see the red piece. The mysterious disappearance of a support leg just disappeared. As it fell to the ground and hit face flat, one leg decided to run off to nowhere no one knows. <laughs> While the other three stayed behind. <laughs> These are the other three. So one one support leg ran away. <laughs> Oh, uh, where is it? I need to find that piece. You guys are probably saying, oh, well, do you really need it? Yeah, because it's not going to work properly. I don't think. Oh, wow, I just broke my microphone. <sighs> yippee, 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 yippee. Hey, my name is Panda. Tonight, I had five guys thought I was your chick tonight. So, I'm proud of that. I am a sexy panda. So, like I said, everyone, not everything is always sour. <laughs> Where is the red piece? Oh, wow, that thing literally disappeared. I don't even, normally, guys, you saw my other live stream like a couple of days ago, right? I literally was walking down the street and the, well, a couple of weeks ago in Portland, and I found 25 cents in pinch black dark. You, there's no light to reflect over it. As I got closer and I looked down, I saw it right there at my foot. <laughs> but I can't find a red piece. <laughs> That's what I'm emphasizing. I can't find this bright red piece that should be visible to my eye. But I can find a quarter that I don't need. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. First and foremost, we need to make sure GoPro is working. And I'm going to put this on gently. I don't want to break it again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't want to break it again. See that? We fixed the microphone. Crazy glue. Spawn to me. <laughs> I use crazy glue quite a bit. Spawn to me. <laughs> I fix everything with crazy glue. It's only a temporary fix. But sometimes these temporaries can be last a long time. But I really want that red piece. 
Oh man, I don't know where it went. This is like a pure gray ground. You can see everything, but I can't find red. See, this is red, brown, red. Well, brown is actually part of the red color otherwise, but where is it? A cheeky little red little leg. Oh well, I'm fixated on it. Yes, I am. Because, uh, like I said, I don't want to put stuff back on if it won't support. Okay, so... What the? Is it tightening it down, or...? Oh, wow, that was a long twist. Oh, the crazy goes on my finger. Oh, wow. See, this is why I'm looking for the other leg. It started twisting already. See? This is why I want the support. It's doing this twist. Too flexible. When you're walking, you're going to hear that bounce. That's why I have to look for that piece. Oh, there it is. See, I have to look for it. This is going to eliminate that bounce. I promise you. Okay, it's getting cold. Ooh, I felt that. Whoa! Where the hell is the cold air coming from? Okay. Okay, let's get this on. Oh, ah, come on. Almost had it too. We fixed it. We got it. You see that? Oh, yeah. We are fixing it. And they're going to add some more crazy glue. Yeah, hold the cap. Okay. So, we're going to add more crazy glue. Because we just fixed the microphone. Guys, we just broke the microphone on the live stream and now we just fixed it on the live stream. Easy. Why? Crazy glue. <laughs> crazy glue. So I'm going to crazy glue it again to fix the microphone. And then I'm going to put the deck cap back on. And you guys are probably saying, what, you carry around this? Carry like this all day? Yeah. It's just a pain in the butt to like, keep taking apart. But I want to crazy glue it again so I can make sure that it's dry, dry, dry. A nice layer on that on all sides. Yeah. I gotta let this one dry a little bit longer longer. Oh okay, now I'm gonna let that dry. Oh wow, it's getting cold. Oh man. I hope someone just brings me a miracle. I wake up tomorrow morning, there's ten thousand dollars in my bank account. Woohoo! <laughs> we going inside, boys. 
Then like this. Okay. So now we got this. Ah, cold. I'm getting cold. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do it, guys. I have to do it. What are you doing? I gotta pull one of them out. My hands are getting a little, getting a little frostbitey. I feel it. Where are they? Let me sanitize my hands. I'm gonna sanitize my hands, guys. Because uh, I've been touching stuff on the streets. I've been sitting on stuff on these streets. So. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> oh, Woo, that's cold. Holy crap, that's freezing cold. Oh, that is not a smart thing to do. Well, it was, but <laughs> it's, it's getting cold. Oh, my hands just got a little bit even. Ooh, limbo. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna put this stuff back in the bag. Ugh, and this mask is still wet. Oh wow. My saliva soaked the hell out of this panda mask. Well, my breathing did. That's what that did. The breathing soaked the crap out of this mask. I gotta wash it. So, I'm gonna put it in my pocket. Okay, so. We got body warmer for the body, and we got a hand warmers. We'll put these inside the gloves. This, I'm gonna use this in, for later, just in case. And then, you only get one? Oh, come on, I got two gloves. That's crap. Get one? That's crap. Which hand needs the, 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 the most loving right now? I think it's my right hand. <laughs> yeah. Got the scooters, taking the scooters back to get him charged. Look, guys. They pick the scooters up, they take them to get a charge, and they put them right back on the streets. So that's what happened in Portland with uh, with uh, Spin. Uh, they still need to respond to my accident because that was a bad accident. That should never happen. This is why I don't understand why they actually put those in Portland. The streets in Portland are terrible. Bumpy roads, potholes everywhere. I love this train scene. I know you guys do too. Sick, sick long exposure. You guys see my long exposure. This thing is not getting warm at all. It's supposed to get instantly like hot, but it's not. Oh, I think I bought a crappy version. Oh well. They only a dollar fifty. That's crap. This one's not even getting hot hot. It's not even warm. I'm squeezing it, I'm shaking it. I think it's a dud. <laughs> to be honest with you. I think it's a dud. I don't I don't feel it like getting warm. No, I don't feel like getting warm in anything. Yeah, I don't feel like getting warm. This is supposed to be instantly warm. I think I bought a bad batch. But I have another one somewhere in there. Yeah, I think these are a bad batch. 
No expired data anything on it here too. See? It's not working. My hands are not getting warm. So I guess we don't have to do it the old way. Let's try the, the other way to see if this gets pretty warm. We gotta test these out. This is the brand. Mind you. You gotta shake it up nicely. Like you're playing dice or you're gambling. You need to win this money because you have to win because this is going to save your life. You also got children to feed. You got YouTubers to feed. You got a community to feed. You got to get back to the community. So we got to win this. Oh, no, no litter. No litter. Don't like the litter. In. Don't do dare litter. And this one's not getting warm either. None of them are. Oh, wow. I brought a bad batch. But this is not getting warm. I wish you guys could feel this. This is not getting warm at all. I'm like squeezing it. No, it's too cold. Yeah, I brought a bad batch. Sucks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually put it on my body. Oh, this is a bad batch. See, I brought the wrong ones. The ones that I want has the adhesive. You can like put it on your clothes and like feel that heat. And so I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna just like rub it and see if they it works that way. If it doesn't work that way, then we know this is a dud. Because it seems like a dud. It's not working very well. Yeah, this is not getting warm at all. Let's see if I can put it on my... Actually, I'm going to put it on my croc. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Let's put it on my butt cheek. See what happens. <laughs> Because it's not getting warm. So I'm going to put it on my butt cheek. <laughs> Which I just did. <laughs> you guys will be like, yeah, you see why those guys called you a girl. <laughs> they thought I looked like a woman. Because of my clothes. Listen. That means you guys don't have style. You guys have no taste. You guys want to dress with baggy clothes. And whatever fashion you have see um, this is why they thought I was Friday girl look 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 what I'm wearing exactly I'm gonna back up a little bit so you guys can get mind you I'm wearing all good fellow company clothing stuff for this jacket stuff for this shimmock stuff for this hat and the socks <laughs> Everything else, good fellow company brand. I like it. But, uh, yeah, I got, got this on. Because I do not want to take out my passports from that bag. <laughs> I'm not showing anyone any identification. I didn't do anything. Okay. We got to keep warm now. We got to get, gotta get warm now. Okay. We gotta get warm. Okay, we need to fix this. Let's get warm and see. This is how I stay warm. See, I like to fold my shimmock and then do this. Unfold it one time, wrap it around again, and. Take the bottom, do the same. Make sure, yeah, no, this one, yeah. Put 
I'm going to cover my neck. That's all. Because it's, it's getting cold. Yeah, it's freezing out here right now. It, the weather is it's going to continue to drop. Because it's still early in the night. It's only 12. So. Uh, oh, yeah. Now, I, do have, I still have my North Face jacket, but that's not a warm jacket. I use that jacket on top of something like this when it's raining, because I don't want to sweat. Yeah, I still have That's why I, I still have the North Face other stuff. So, yeah. So, yeah, this is how I'm going to stay warm for the next seven hours, eight hours. But I also need to get some sleep. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I just don't trust. I guess I can pass out right here. I think. I'm not, I don't want to pass out. I don't mean to say it that way. What I'm trying to say is that, like, I can keep one hour for him and... Yeah, I can keep one eye open. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break night. I'm gonna stay up. I can't take that risk because uh, I would like to ride the train, but I don't think th I don't know if they have outlet and I need power. I'm trying to remember where is power. I don't. I I know where I know where power is. I know where power is. Hold on. Not a great idea to sleep at that cold. I know, but listen, you do what you can, especially during this COVID now. Now, take it, take it for a minute. I slept in worse conditions. Madison, Wisconsin. <laughs> no, I wasn't homeless out there, but the point is like, it's cold in the winter. No matter if you sleep or not, it's cold. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think it's a bad idea, not a good idea to, to just like pass out. Or I kind of want to take the train to get a time lapse, but the thing is that the conductor booth is locked, so you can't see. That would have been nice time lapse. Yeah. Trust me, I've been in much colder places. I've been to Toronto, Winnipeg, uh, British Columbia, of course, Wisconsin, uh, Ireland. London gets cold too. <laughs> Paris gets freaking cold too. Yeah, but do you did you see what I'm carrying around? All this camera gear and plus that. Yeah, it's really difficult. And I just broke the GoPro's microphone and fixed it. So I'm waiting for it to dry. Fully, see, there's no, sh there's no bounce anymore. See, see, there's no bounce anymore. Uh, see, so that leg was important to find, as I said before. When I broke it, while you guys, you guys were mounted on here, and it fell over. So now I got you back on the tripod. But I, I need to make sure the GoPro is working. And then the microphone and everything. Ooh, it took a beat in. Microphone took a nasty beat in. Oh, wow. No, 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 no. Don't do that. I have to make sure this is working. Okay. Go to preference. Make sure the microphone is super plug. Yes, microphone's on. We have, yeah, all right, it's fixed, but we're going to still let that dry, because the clay could still looks a little bit wet. Ah. So everyone that just tuned in. I've been live streaming for over about two hours now. Um, I just came back. Ah, 
came back from a trip that I should never took in the first place. And, uh... Oh, wow. You see that? She was getting undressed on the train. <laughs> wow. I'm telling you, homelessness 2020, 2021 is going to be the realest homelessness you're going to see. More and more people are homeless now than ever before. Why? Because the government didn't take proper action when they're supposed to. They'd rather see you fall and, and then make complaints and then say, go vote for me. If you vote for me, I'll make it happen. And then when you vote for them, they don't make shit happen. <laughs> Not getting warm. Wait. Where's this one going? Oh, we got we got warmness. Oh yeah, my butt is getting warm. <laughs> so I put one of the I put the warming pack on my butt. It's kind of working. It's, it's kind of working. Look, you guys want to see my butt cheek or not? Because it's really for the ladies. It's really for the ladies. I don't know why you guys like watching my butt, but yeah. See that? I put it right there on my butt cheek. <laughs> but look at the moon. It's like half moon. Hell no. <laughs> but yeah, there's no food grocery store open. Uh, well, like I said, Safeway is now on the other side of town. I was here, what, three years ago? A lot has changed. They built three new buildings here. Uh, they, built, they, they built this gate because as you saw earlier today, those kids that were right there in the corner as that train was started, they were touching the train. I was, this is why the fence is there. So, and mind you, I used to take photographs right there to get those long exposures. Yeah, I used to take it right behind this line. I never go by, past this line. I always stay right here why because the t the, the, the the lens that i'm using is the 18 or 35 or the 15 yeah it's gonna get so close don't worry about it like literally don't worry about it it's a white it's a it's, it's 18 is wide enough it's 15 wide enough don't do 11 that's too wide <laughs> but uh yeah so I guess tomorrow I just not to really open down here. So I, I'm probably gonna have to go to another city to look for a job, some photo work, because it doesn't look like it's just not too much going on down here. And as I said earlier today in the live stream about most of the most of this area is a lot of Hindu and native. Native Hindu from India to in like, yeah, it's a lot of students here, but they are the ones that actually make the experience. I'm being honest with you. Not saying I was here. They are very judgmental. And they still are. They act like they 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 own because they live in a. a first of all, I I I don't want to sound like a douchebag because. I emphasized this last time I was here when I went to the to, to the to the the subway that used to be right here on St. Carlos. Right? Hindu own. I walked in there, asked for a sandwich, the woman says, Oh, pay for it before I, I make it. I was like, pay for it before you make it. Why are you asking me that? Are you gonna use EBT card? I was like, what the hell is an EBT card? She said, you're not going to use food stamp card. I was like, no, I'm paying cash. What's wrong with you? Like, why are you stereotyping? I thought you were going to use it, uh, you know, uh, and run out. I have people do that. I was like, so you made an assumption because I'm black, so you think I was going to run out. But one of them was white and they had an EBT card, or Asian with an EBT card, or Russian with an EBT card. But I don't have an EBT card. Didn't even know what that actually was called. I thought it was called food stamp card, but now I know it's called EBT. I didn't, I really didn't. Well, anyway, back to the story. 
he literally made a false assumption, and that's when I wrote that review and walked right the fuck out. Like, no, I'm not buying anything. You just, you just stereotyped. And that's why it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, it's not there anymore. See, when you write a review, when the franchise doesn't like the racism, oh, yes. See, it's a franchise. You, you messed up. There, there are that type of people all over the world, buddy. Oh, yeah, I know that. I know that. But the, it's the way how she assumed. Mind you, I didn't have any of this with me. I walked in, had a, had a what is it, slacks, shoes, shirt, tie, and uh, I came from City Hall, and I wanted to get a small sandwich. She made it. Sometimes going to be using EBT or food stamp, whatever it's called. Yeah, and you guys asked that question a while back ago, like when was it July? Why don't you apply for uh, that the food stamp thing? I said I can't because 20, 2019 and twenty twenty, yeah, that's fraud. <laughs> And uh, I can't get, I don't think I can get that anyway. I made too, I weighed way too much money 2019. <laughs> so that's just, that's just, no. And we tried that, remember? And that did not go through. Because we, we, yeah. Because uh, I wanted to actually see if I can, who was that? That was like August something? I don't know, something after, sometime around my birthday, I did that, and I was like, oh, only matter the line. Wow, you guys know who I am. I was doing it through Wisconsin. Because uh, I was employing in Wisconsin, and it's only fair to do it through Wisconsin. But are you there in Wisconsin? No. Are you going back? I don't know. You should come to France. I was in France. I always go to Paris or Lyon. It helps you a lot. Yeah, I know that. That's why I was trying to. That's why I was telling people earlier. If I was in Paris, Japan, South Korea, any other country, they would, they already help their citizens. But here, oh, I want to be in power first. So in order for us to, only for you to get a stimulus. Vote for me. That's what that was. Vote for me. And I give you a stimulus. I didn't vote for that shit. I voted because I want that other asshole out of the office. <laughs> yeah, it is true. But, but yeah, I just, I just want the other asshole out of the office. And guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't vote. I don't, I don't like voting for prejudices here. Local other things, yeah. I, I, I even got my document that I showed you guys in a live stream. It, when I first got my, uh, my certification back in 2011 to, to start voting. Yeah, that was the first time I ever got a certification by the state. Ever. I can finally vote. You guys are saying, well, what do you mean finally? I'm a dual citizen and I don't like to vote. And... I don't like to vote in another country either because, I, like I said, I'm not a big fan of politics. Politics is, is the evil of why we are the way we are now. It's control. When you have control over people, that makes you deadly, makes you dangerous. Especially when you have a higher power seat, it makes you also incompetent. Because now you, it's so, you get so arrogant, so blinded. And I can do that. I do that sometimes when my, my photography, but it's different. When I take a photograph, I'm like. <laughs> but when I'm in the office and they say I'm a president, I just lied to the American people. I told them something. Now I'm not going to do it because I'm not getting my way. You should kick that other woman out too, Nancy Pelosi. Kick her out of office too. She doesn't deserve her. Sh I'm sorry. She may have like 40 years of experience in Congress and as and in the House of the Senate and the House of Representatives, but 
Right now, she doesn't. She, they, they, let me explain this. From a, as I said, I don't like talking politics or political statement, but we need fresh blood in office. Brand new set of eyes, brand new fresh minds, brand new fresh ideas coming from a younger generation of politicians, senators, and, and, and governors, and congressmen, and congresswomen. We need a new generation. That new generation needs to learn from the old generation's mistakes. That's what we need here. But we're not going to get it. It's always some old fart that's going to say, oh, I know this is better for you. Sometimes that old fart might know a thing or two, but like I said, once you get that seat of power, it just takes over your mind. You're like, yeah, I'm a president. But hear me out. This is why I, I, I'm emphasizing that not everything that Trump did was bad, but, it's, and people forget the most very important, like, did you know that he had, come on, African Americans, you guys voted for him the first time. It says, it says that you have freedom, but you try to ruin down the streets butt naked, <laughs> butt naked, well, and see what happens. Word freedom means you are able to do what you want without anyone stopping you. Yeah, that's true, too. And that is also a crime. Yeah, yeah, that's true, too. But that's why I said this might sound a little bit conflicting, because sometimes you kind of need some type of control. But take it from a Buddhist standpoint, Mitt. Control only is within. Self-indulgence, self-discipline... Self, self competency makes you that strong. If you have that much willpower, like I'm doing now, I'm still going to... Guys, this is not the first time. <laughs> I travel like this all the time. It's just the, a courage thing I, I, I do all the time. Why? I don't like to sit still in one place one time. I, I don't like being in one city for one year and then continue on to that in the same city in another year. I don't like it because I don't move around. We all understand your socialism, but it, with a illusion of freedom. Yeah, this is why I don't like politics. <laughs> this is why I don't like getting political. But back to what I was saying about Trump. The African, this is funny. The African community voted for him the first time. He had more votes. Than, he had so many black votes. <laughs> People just look at that old election. Like so many back now, he lost those votes. Why? Like I said, he lied. He lied to all of us, and they are going to—they are going to lie to us. This is why I don't watch all those uh, stimulating videos on YouTube. It's just clickbait. See, I like clear value tax because that guy says stimulus update. He don't say, oh, his thumbnails don't say, oh, you get a stimulus check tomorrow. That's clickbait. That's what a lot of those YouTubers do. You fall for that stupid shit. Clickbait my ass. Eat my ass. <laughs> Sorry for the language, but like, Clear Value Tax is a YouTuber. He's actually a professional tax personnel. Uh, he does a lot of four ones. Just Google Clear Value Tax YouTube channel, and trust me, you're gonna like when he slams that paper down because he's pissed off too about how this whole political turnout has turned. His own best friend is now looking is now facing poverty level. And he's never he's never been on the poverty level before. Um, that's why I was telling you guys, people that never been in the poverty level before now facing it, now understand what that poverty level feels like, what that is about. It's it's a it's a really bad game of survival, and you got to go to like, first and foremost, being homeless is not. Being homeless, mind you, ladies and gentlemen, being homeless is the hardest job in America. Why? Because you can't piss. When you want to, you can't poo poo when you want to. You can't eat what you want. You got to eat what they serve, 
and you might have allergic allergy, you might get hungry, you get desperate to eat it, then you go to the hospital, you get sick, which I did that a few times. I'm not going to ever do that again. But you guys get my point. You, you, you can't sleep anywhere you want. You can't lay down and sit there because some people would think you're, you're about to do something terrible. And then, like tonight, how many times guys walked around, how many times tonight in this whole three hour, two hour video, you see men walked around the GoPro, looked at it like, didn't even look at me, just like, stop right here, then walk around, came back. How many times that has happened? We went to Japan Town. Look what happened when we went to Japan Town. It was truly quiet. But as we were starting to get down here, you started seeing the mess. This is why I want to be in Japan Town, but they don't have any outlets so I can plug my phone in to charge my phone or my laptop. I want to add a photograph, an architecture photograph that I took three days ago. Yes, I, I took a bunch of architecture photos that might just blow your freaking minds away. I took it with the IS-15, I used the polarizer, I used F-16 for most of the shots. I wanted to emphasize that color blue, but I also want to emphasize the textures. But how I shoot in, knee down, up, just like this. Why am I right knee down first? Because that's my stable, that's my stable, stabilization leg. Boom. Stabilization leg. So that's why. Oh yeah, that, 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 that one pack just got my butt cheek warm. Oh my goodness, that's hot. <laughs> that's hot. <laughs> oh yeah, we, we, we gonna stay warm tonight. Yeah, I got guys. Thought I was a girl tonight. That means I'm sexy. That means I'm, I'm attractive. No matter what. Even my friend, Bria. She's from Turkey. Like, we got a thing going on, I guess. I think she's cute. I met her because her ex-boyfriend. Mind you, I was working at Porchlight when he came to Porchlight. Because they thought, they thought it was like... They thought it was a hostel. I said, no, this is, see, this is why you guys have to understand that why I made this video about hostel. In America, people, people see the word hostel as a homeless shelter or a place for people that don't, or are homeless people. What they don't understand is hostel doesn't mean that. Hostel in... It's called, not hostel, it, it's called hostel, but it's actually called hostelin. The high international hostel, which I'm a member of for the last nine years, I had to double check this morning, because I saw my own video, I was like, is it 10 or 9? But anyway, it's 9. Uh, first and foremost, it's an international hostelin. It caters to travelers, families, and children. May I say more? Yeah, this is why I like hostels, and they're cheaper, and you get more for your buck. Listen, I spent 31 bucks in San Francisco, right? I got a full kitchen, even though I didn't get no dishes, I didn't get no bowls, I didn't get no forks, no silverware, nothing. I don't know why they did that. I, I, I ended up losing money. But the point is, I had free Wi-Fi, I had a library, I had a dining room, I had a television room, I had free soap and water. Free shower, basically. I had the beautiful four, four floor window. You can see everything. That was $31 a night. Portland Hostel can range from $33 to $48 a night as well, too. So think about that savings compared to a freaking hotel. What are you, you going to get at a hotel? Hey, sir, welcome to, the, welcome to the Hilton. Oh, can we give you this, can we give you this uh, luxury, puffy, uh, towel and uh, bathrobe on the house, even though they're going to really bill you it. <laughs> and charge you a stick load of money for some cheesy, cheesy soap and shampoo. You ever try their soap and shampoo? I emphasized this again earlier in the live stream about why you should not use that stuff that the hotel gives you because that's detergent. 
that is not meant for your skin is bad for your skin. This is why I only wash my clothes and detergent, what is it, chemical detergent free soap. Because detergent also fades your clothes. Most people don't know that. So those advertisements like, oh, yeah, like bring the colors back. Some of them do work, but still, it's detergent based and it itches. <laughs> so this is why I only wash my clothes in a certain type of soap, which is from Japan. It's a baking soda soap that I use all the time. If I don't have it, I'm going to wash my freaking clothes by hand with warm water. And I'm going to use the soap that I got from the Japanese uh, market. And I'm going to hand wash it if I don't have the product. Guys, don't, don't use close detergent soap or dishwasher. The dishwasher soap is detergent too. This is why you should use Dawn. Use Dawn. Please. Trust me. Don't, don't use the other stuff. This is what happened when you get... This is what happened... When you use cheap detergent at a hostel, your nails and your, your, your couplings and your fingertips and all that, get start to brittle and like peel off. That's what, and that's what happens to your skin. You start itching, your skin starts peeling, you get dry skin. That, trust me, I've been trying to take care of this 40 year old body for 40 years. People don't even actually believe I'm freaking 40. Unbelievable. People don't actually believe I am 40 years old. I have to like literally pull out a passport like, nah, that's fake, dude. Like, oh, come on. Yeah, look, 40. What do you do? Nothing. <laughs> Easy. Don't rob people. Don't steal. Don't, 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 uh... Don't uh, do anything that's going to harm people. Don't poop on the street. To... Listen, secrets the trade. Eat right, live right, read right, watch television, last. <laughs> Don't be consumed by all the crap you see on television. Do something that's going to make you happy. Like me, I use photography as my mental health cure. I told my... I told my therapist that, like, the reason why I stopped coming to see you is because I already found a therapist. Like, no matter what, no matter what professional, I told Yuki this too. You might be professional, but you can't bring that, you cannot bring my sorrow to a minimum, to a, to a, to a low. My sorrow is so high, I miss Nami. You guys don't know about my daughter. Yeah, I miss her. So, yeah. So, when she was... When we got into a car accident, yeah, I was in a coma for, what, a couple of days. Lost my sense of smell, lost all my teeth, got all this surgery on my face. Got this on my forehead, the staples. I didn't care about that. I don't care about this teeth. Where is Nami? No one won't tell me for, like, what was it, like, a couple of days, they like, Trying to keep it from me. You need to rest. Don't worry. She's a... No, it's weird shit. And you know why. And now you guys understand why, like, I had to leave Japan. I did something that I, 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 I regret. I got upset. And, like, I attacked the person that hit her. That hit her. Us. I went after that fucker. I don't mean to call him fucker. I'm sorry about that. It's not. At the time, I was saying that. But now, I have to pay... I have to pay for the next... <laughs> what? Until I die, basically. I gotta pay him royalties for what I did. And that's where I decided this year... You know what? I'm gonna go through this pandemic. I gotta get this guy money every freaking month. Uh, I'm gonna explain to the justice system there, like, hey... I'm going to send all this money to him now because I'm going through a pandemic. I told my parents that. That's why I sent my parents the 12 grand. Because uh, I need to pay them back for all the stuff they did for me. They're not even my real parents. They are, they are, pe they are Japanese. I thought it was half Japanese Korean. But they are just, just 
just outstanding, amazing people that decided, hey, we take you in. Like, really? Like, you take, why? Why? And now you guys understand what my personality comes from. Sorry, it's a mixed bag of everyone. <laughs> I learn from everybody. I don't just learn from my parents. I learn from you guys. I learn from people that I, I meet or talk or have conversation with. I just, right now, I just, I'm lonely and I'm, I'm, I'm depressed but happy in a way that I'm talking to you guys. But I'm also, I'm lonely in that part because for the last like eight months, I've been trying to look for someone compatible, her, someone compatible. I think I kind of found her, but sometimes she doesn't understand humor, French and, and American humor. She's Japanese, but yeah. And then I have the Turkish girl and kind of into, but how, how, that situation is kind of complicated. But I know you guys are probably say, did you meet this girl? Yeah, they were all here in the States. <laughs> we met. We actually hanged out. It's just the fact that like afterwards I was like, hmm, am I attracted to this girl? What? Not on the spot that I was attracted. It's after like a couple of times talking or... It just kind of kicked off recently, like, because I was worried about her because she's going through her own mental health crisis, too. She wants to start working again, and I want to. She wants this whole COVID stuff to go away, but it won't go away. It's just, it, 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 it's, it loves fucking sticking around. Why? Because some of you guys out there love to not listen. And I emphasized this earlier on my Instagram. Look at my Instagram. There's a YouTuber. I'm not going to blast her on my YouTube, but she wanted me to follow her. So I follow her. I watched 12 of her content and realized each in her video, she did not wear a mask. What makes it worse, look at, her, look at, look at my Instagram post. Please, re read it before it's up, before tomorrow. The pen and photographer, all one word. You'll see it. And I said, I am removed to her and not following her because she's the main reason why, she's the main reason why people get sick. She's careless. She is reckless. She doesn't care for authority. She doesn't care what the governments, yeah, governments, CDC, have to say about COVID. She's in L.A. right now at a fashion Whatever party she claims it was fashion party, I'm like, there's no fashion week in LA. All that's been canceled. So that's a lie. So that's why I also removed it. Because you guys know, when I go to fashion week, around this time, it's in New York City. And everything has been canceled. So how, you, how is it there's a, 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 a fashion, and we didn't get anywhere of it. But she's at a party wearing no mask, drinking, being stupid. That's a person that you do not want to, that's a person that you don't want to risk being around. Put you up a little bit so you can see my face. That's a person that you do not want to be around. That's a person that doesn't care about other people's uh, safety. So I follow her and I hope she learns it a lesson. Panda, I'm following because you don't want to wear a mask. Look at her Instagram. Not one picture has her wearing a mask, but she's been traveling ever since COVID hit. Look at the times on her Instagram. The dates. Look at it. You're like, this girl got a... Got, you, you're going to save yourself, too. You have a lot of balls or a lot of nerve. Well, you're not a man. You don't have balls. But you have a lot of nerve to go around ooh, dancing in front of the guy. The guy, even the guy in the video, was like, with the mask, like, <laughs> you see him like, eh? 
Hold on, chick. You're, you're looking too fast now. You horny? Listen. Uh, what's her name? You know, I'm not going to blast her. But like I said, go to my Instagram. You're going to see her. And then you guys respond. What do you think? Was I out of line for telling her to wear a mask? Was I out of line for not following her? Because she... my truth, everyone, I had two people that I know pass away from this COVID. I take this seriously. I've been tested four times. Negative. It's been nine months. I'm fine. I just got chronic asthma and I'm homeless and houseless at the time. Because I don't fit. Guys, I do not want to spend money that I cannot afford to spend. Now, you guys, yesterday, three people gave me 15 bucks. Wasn't enough for what I wanted to use it for. Because I was just going to buy a new ticket. So I'm going to hold on to that money until I get enough money to buy a ticket to somewhere I, I think I, it's safe. Now, Amtrak has an issue right now. A lot of the rail services are not working. So you got to get on a train, on a bus, on a train, on a bus. This is not practical for train, bus, train, bus. Why? Because I got to break this down every single time to go on the bus. Then get on the train again, break it down, not practical. This is why... This is why I want the wagon instead of the hand truck here. I need a wagon. And I saw that wagon for 120 bucks. I was like, oh, that's a lot of money. But it's so, it's, 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 it's meant for what it's supposed to do. And it's super beefy and super strong. It literally holds up a freaking, what was that, a 400 pound refrigerator, I think it was? And I saw it in the ad, I was like, what the, f that's a 400 pound, 500 pound, that's, I think it's holding that, oh wow, I need to buy that. That tells me right there, this is, that's what that is meant for, for this. This whole, guys, this whole contraption. Sorry. Oops. You see this? I have to break this down in this live stream to, to reconfigure it so I can transport it easier. And it's a mess. Look what I have to do. Double tie it, wrap it. Now I'm going to untie it, wrap it if I want to get to the laptop, which is back here. So that's another inconvenience. So I definitely need that wagon and upgrade. Now there is a Walmart here, but it's not that close. So I'm probably gonna have to take a bus. So uh, not quite sure yet, but probably am gonna have to take a bus. But um, I've never been there before. Never had to go. I'm not a real big fan of Walmart. I don't, I don't like what they do to people there. But anyway, what they do to people is they follow you around, like Fred Myers. That's why I don't go there. I'm like going there. As soon as you walk in, they think you're suspicious. <laughs> or they want to stereotype something. Yeah, I was stopped in Walgreens in Madison, Wisconsin. I was buying that hand truck. I think you guys, we saw that live stream. That man is actually, am I buying it or not? Because you've been sitting around, I was like, yeah, I'm just asking you a question. Do you have the wagon? He told me no. I looked around. There's this, not the wagon, the hand truck. He said they didn't have any hand trucks. There's a hand truck right here in the store. He's going to tell me they didn't have it. Because you thought I was about to steal something. Oh, you stupid. Now you're being a stupid. Oh, I do it. I need a shower. I feel dirty. Oh, I feel gross. I got a bunch of sweat on my back. Ugh, guys, I got a bunch of sweat. It's nasty. That's what I feel so cold right now. But anyway, uh, I was supposed to let you guys go a long time ago, so I'm gonna end this live stream now because I don't think YouTube likes me anyway. YouTube and I are not in the best relationship right now because. I, I'm, I'm sorry to say this, YouTube, but you shadow ban me quite a bit. 
look at the look at guys. I put so much effort into one video that I released. It's called my movie San Francisco. You know what happened in the making of that video? Da Vinci Resolve corrupted my timeline. Which means I had to start over from scratch. Then it started messing up my timeline on its own. When it rendered stuff out, it didn't render it correctly. I emphasized that video. I had to start over. I was in that live stream for about an hour and a half trying to start over. It took me two days to get that done because I tried to remember the sequence of the way I had it and I got the sequence. And to emphasize the sequence, I even did it backwards at the end of the video. <laughs> so to just, just give you a reference of how much work I put into a video, I spend money making the video and YouTube doesn't see that as content. It's not worth their time. I'm sorry, but like, I travel from <laughs> you telling me like me showing the people go me going to San Francisco from Portland and showing them how, how I got there that's not worth people's time hmm I don't know someone needs to go back to school and make sure they go to back to communications class because that's not how it works <laughs> anyway guys I'm gonna let you guys go but um, if you guys want to buy all this camera gear I got the links down in the descriptions below I got the PayPal, Cash App, and Remo links if you guys want to make donations. Uh, oh, it's cold. But uh, yeah, uh, I need to, I need to walk. I need to stay warm, but I don't want to sweat. Uh, but I need to stay warm because I'm it's getting cold and it's getting nippy. But with that said, thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, this is Panda, and um, we had no choice. I had no choice to make up a decision. To save money and fight this pandemic out here, or waste money, be broke, have no money at all, risk not going to any place, no transportation money, no nothing. That's why I kept the money. I need it for transportation, food. If I find a cheaper hostel, less than 50, a uh, hotel, less than 50 bucks, I might take it. But I'm not paying 80, 70 dollars. Well, I don't think there's a $70 hotel in, in here anyway. Everything is like $90, $110, $120. So I'm like, the two-star hotel is $99. Crazy. With that said, everyone, I'd rather stay at the international hostel or a hostel that is affiliated with the high hostel. Or, I try to emphasize this. Why don't every person that owns a home that has a backyard just... Just have one person tent, camp, not camp forever, but tent out for the night in their backyard. To keep that person safe off the streets. I don't see anything wrong with that other than the fact that I, there might be some problems with strangers that might ask and request that favor. But to hear me out, I think it would be a great idea if people know people that are actually suffering right now. They see all the time, say, hey, come sleep in my backyard. You got your tent, you got your sleeping back. Well, I got a space. You can, why do we sleep out here? Come into my backyard. And in the mornings, you can pack up and leave. Or that person can pack up and leave. And then you come back the next night if they want to come back. But I would recommend that the person bring out an offering of some sort to show your gratitude and gesture that people are judging. Yeah, pay it for it. If it's not to the person, let that person know you want to help this person out. Set. And give this person $5, $10. You show me love. I, I need to give them. This is my last $10. I, I, he can use it because I got a place to, to sleep. I got a place to sleep and, and stay. But I wish more people can do that. Because it happened to me many times in Japan when I was traveling throughout Japan. Because I was drinking after the hospital accident. I went on a drinking spree. <laughs> so, so doing sake. Woo! <laughs> I had some fun times. Some drunk fun times. <laughs> waking up. This is the best thing about waking up in Japan. 
I could be literally in the corner right there. I wake up, my wallet, my phone, my keys, my money's still there. Here, <laughs> if that ever happens, you are the golden Jesus of America. <laughs> I tell you that right now. You're the golden Jesus of America. If that happens here, if you never get robbed, you are a special one. Because even I got robbed here twice. <laughs> got once here, and, and one is in uh, New York City to rob my studio. That's how I end up coming out here <laughs> in the first place. Fucking robbed the studio, took all my lenses, burnt the place down, left me homeless. Yeah. And then I come out here for a little bit, doing some work and some stuff, some activist work and stuff. But yeah, I left those people alone. A bunch of cons. Oh, my butt cheek is warm. Oh, that patch. Oh, but, mm, I'm tired, guys. I'm going to try to find a nice little warm spot for like an hour. I need at least an hour of rest. I need to lay down something. I don't, I don't, have, a, I don't have a tent. I don't have a sleeping bag. I, I didn't plan this out, guys. I didn't because I didn't know I was going to do the, all this shit. Things didn't work out because, M, like I said, Amtrak, there's a lot of trains that are not working that you're going to have to, and you pay so much money for that. No. I came straight from Wisconsin to Black Bear Mountain and paid only $110 for that ticket. Literally. And I was able to get from Wisconsin here, I mean, Wisconsin, to Portland for $110. But you want to charge me $236 to upgrade my ticket to go to Salt Lake. Oh, my panda. Oh, I can fly there for $79 right now. I shit you not. <laughs> How dare you? The police officer just saw me too. He was watching. He's probably figuring it out, yeah, who's this guy? I've never seen him before. Yeah. Oh, cops know who, who lives here. Cops know who's homeless here. <laughs> they know. People know. Wait, what that's going to be on? <sighs> Brandon needs at least an hour of sleep somewhere. So... I'm going to go. You guys take care. I'll see you tomorrow.